Boom, 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 boom. Are we good? Are we going? Okay, I think we're live. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I don't know whether anyone can see this. I did send out a link, so hopefully it won't be too long. Um, today, we're going to be covering the filming on Axminster Road. It's going to be one of those streams where I'm um, where I'm talking about uh, filming stuff. So uh, if you're into those ones, strap in. I, I've heard that this is a night shoot. What we're going to be covering is a night shoot, so they're probably going to be filming for a little while, for a little while, you know, so um, I, I'd say this would probably be like a, a like a long stream. I'm probably not going to be streaming the entire time because I think it could go up to like 2, 3 a.m., something like that. So yeah, we're definitely not making it that far, but um, I'm going to stream as long as possible. We're going to bring um, live updates from the set. Uh, I have actually got a friend, kind of like last time on the set, uh, lovely Liam Walsh. I actually met at Comic Con, lovely guy. He's gonna be he's gonna be our man for this stream, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be bringing you live updates from from the set as they occur. So uh, if you like those sort of streams, be sure to give this stream a like. Um, yeah, welcome everyone. Who we got in chat? Who we got in chat? Half peep striking back. Jamie has no life. I'm sure you have a life, Jamie. I I, I wouldn't worry about that. Don't listen to others. Serenade. Edward Ashes. Um, Pauline Bradfoot, uh, coins and other things, cheese, DW boy, Thary's the alternate fifth doctor. You know what? Unironically, I kind of want to cosplay the fifth doctor. Um, yo, what's popping? Not much. Yourself? Hello. Hey. Greetings from across the pond. Is that America? You American? That's cool. It's Morbin time. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Hi, mate. Hello, Timothy. How you doing? How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. But yeah, we're going to be going over all the like updates from the set. Apparently they're starting at about 6. Are you going to Doctor Who World by the Liverpool? I, uh, Doctor Who um, World of Wonder. I am going to try and go. That is something I want to try and do sooner rather than later. It's more just a financial thing. Hang on, let me bring my microphone a little bit closer. I just realised it's kind of far away. There we are. Look at that. Look at that. Um, hugs, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, the Americans are here. We love the Americans here. You know, the Americans, you know, they help us out a lot. You know, it's cool. We we don't discriminate here. I don't know why I said that as if, like, you know, Americans are like this sort of bizarre, you know, outsiders. <laughs> You're not, but it's, I don't know. I, I'm guessing it's just because the bulk of uh, Doctor Who fans, I guess, tend to be British because it's where it's made and all that. Who do you think the 15th Doctor will be? Paul McGann, um, uh, hi from Montreal, hello, um, yeah, we're going to be going over some of the updates from the set, so, uh, should we go over, oh, so I've got someone else at set, okay, someone else has messaged me saying they're going to try and get me some photos, so we're going to have a few photos by the looks of things, uh, that's cool, uh, also my neighbour's dog is barking, I apologise for that, not much I can do beyond kicking the neighbour, or the dog, or both, but I can't do that. Because if I did, that's what we call in the, in the industry a crime. But um, <laughs> we're going to get into some of the stuff. As I said, this is coming from my good friend Liam. He was at the set earlier today and he said he's making his way back. Because he was told they start filming at around 6. Which is why I've gone live at about 6. You know, so hopefully we'll start getting stuff, new stuff like like soon. But we've got a few things to go over first. As I said, huge shout out to Liam for this. Lovely guy, met him at Comic Con. Great guy. Um, uh, so here you can see them filming on Axminster Road. You can see the PKE lighting van here, uh, which is obviously used for, for Doctor Who's lighting. You can see some of the lighting equipment here. This was at about 12, 12 p.m. this morning. You can also see, you know, black van and also a crane lift thing. So that. That to me implies, I think that's like for filming, like, is that like aerial shots? I could be completely wrong. Half peeps, you're going to have to help me out with the technical jargon, because I'm not very good at it. But I think that means that this scene could be a bit more elaborate than some of the stuff we've seen before. Because some of the stuff we've seen before, right, it's mainly just been like the Doctor getting in and out of taxis. You know, the Doctor and Donna getting in and out of the TARDIS, that was all the Camden stuff. This is looking like it could be a bit more intense, so that's quite interesting. Um, we have here some more shots of um, 
the 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 crane thing uh i actually that might be for repairing things i'm not sure so people have said that it, this could be like don noble street and it's certainly looking like that it definitely could be that i know i've seen some other people suggest it's bannerman road i'm not so sure about that but very cool and then we have this other one from liam here with what appears to be if you look very closely here you can see what appears to be a unit truck and that was about at about 4 p.m. or 3, 3, 3, 3.41 if you want to be specific. So yeah, looks like they're gearing up for a bigger shoot. So I've, I've had some more DMs. I'm going to look over them. Um, you know, Thares, hope you're doing well, you leaky lad. I've just got over the ones that I've seen so far. Wasn't something big supposed to be announced today. Uh, someone did say that, um, there, that there was going to be something big today, but I think they were just referring to the filming. I don't think there was anything more. Okay, half peeps, half peeps has just chimed in. The crane is most likely for han hanging lights and accessing and altering street lights. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, it's just to make sure the lighting is all good. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, cream source vortex, eight LED panels on top of high rolling stands. Uh, that's a generator van. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, wow, we've got our first super chat. I wasn't expecting that. Hello, uh, Timeless Huvian. Uh, hey, Tharys, what are you hoping... Uh, where, uh, when are you hoping we get another Centenary special trailer? Good question. Honestly, I mean, like, there's when I hope it would happen and when I think it'll probably actually happen. When I think it'll actually happen would be closer to around sort of, um, uh, what, what's the call, what should we call it? Like, a sort of month or two before broadcast? Clinton Road is, uh, Road is, in, is used as Badman Road in West London. That is true. I do think Sarah Jane's house is also here. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get another Centenary special trailer until like a month before broadcast, being honest. So I, that would be about, what, September? But maybe August, maybe August if we're being optimistic, but... Hello from California, hello! A lot of Americans in the, in the chat today. I'm assuming it's because I'm, I'm streaming a bit later on. Hi, I'm from the country boot. I don't know the country, but I'm glad to see you there. I reckon August. I think August... August is possible. Maybe I'm just not that optimistic because, like, um, no, we haven't got a trailer. This is just filming stuff. People are discussing when there could be a, a trailer. Um, yeah, Misty Tharys, I kept refreshing my page. Ah, well, thank you. Yeah, I haven't uh, done a video for a couple of days, mainly just because there hasn't been much going on. Um, hi from the mean streets of Birmingham. Hello. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Uh, oh, okay. We've got more stuff. Someone's added me a new image. New image, everyone. Uh, we've got unit military tanks and um, vans and things. You can see this one looks very similar to the one that was used in uh, the, the Sontaran two-parter with the Atmos devices. So it's definitely harkening back to the RTD era aesthetic for unit with the whole sort of army vibe. Because, like, I mean, they've always had an army vibe to them, but, like... The RTD era kind of treated them as this, like, sort of... They'd only really be rolled out as an occasional military force, and that seems to be the vibe of um, of this unit, I guess. Like, you know, you know, in, like, the classic era, you'd have, like, a bunch of characters, and they'd kind of be, like, a home base for the Doctor. It didn't really work like that in the, in the Russell era. The Russell era was a lot more, okay, we get them in sometimes to dispose of, of aliens and stuff. I'm wondering if... I'm guessing that's going to be their role in this story. I'm not sure. Um... Because obviously we've heard like rumours of who the villains are going to be. The most prevalent one I've seen, and the one that's kind of got the most backing, is the the Celestial Toymaker one. That's the one with the most uh, backing to it because you've got those weird little vending machine toy things. You've got the the poster for like a circus, so it's all sort of Celestial Toymaker vibes. But you know, it could not be that, or there could be multiple villains across the specials. So it'd be interesting to see how Unit factors in. We did see in the late night Camden filming that it looked like the Doctor was scanning some sort of alien ship. So, you know, that would also apply, you know, perhaps a more, not terrestrial, because that, but a more um, traditional threat for, for, for one of the Doctor Who specials at least. So yeah, but that's just my uh, speculation off that image. Um, is there a second image? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a unit van, but this is the best. Yeah, it is definitely a unit van, but it's the best one you have. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. 
That's that's all good. Thank you for that though. Really appreciate that. I love how now there's just people. Oh, we've had super chats. Thank you to the DW Boy fourteen for the one pound super chat, and thank you to good good friend of the channel and uh, member, um, Heretic. I'm watching Family of Blood. Am I a racist now, Father? Nice uh, Father Ted reference. And yes, apparently, um, I don't make the rules. That's just how it works. Um, hello, Thary's greetings from Boston. Um, uh, thanks for being live today. That's more than okay. Oh wow, we've had a twenty-seven. What is that? Is that Canadian dollar? Yes, it is. Uh, thank you for the twenty-seven ninety-nine Canadian dollar. Hi, Thary's. I'm from Ot. Uh, so uh, is it? Oh God, I got to pronounce it. Ottawa, Ottawa, Canada. Uh, did I say that right? I hope I did. I'm not very good at pronouncing things, as you will learn. Um, we've just been going over some of the images from set. Um, hi, Thary's. I want. Uh, Good Doctor Who again. It's looking like we're getting some good Doctor Who at the moment. So I am very excited. Yeah, so we're just like, the whole gimmick of these streams, if you've been here before, is basically just, you know, you're gonna you're gonna see some filming stuff as it comes out. It's just a more fun way, I think, of covering, like, filming images. Because you get, like, the, the hype of, like, ooh, there's a new one, and we can sort of dissect each one. Um, also, if you are new around here and you are enjoying the stream, feel free to subscribe. Um... In order to um, in order to to chat in the chat, you got to subscribe. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on chatting. I think we're only about twenty subscribers away from fourteen thousand four hundred. So um, uh, yeah, if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. Someone says, "Could we see Kate?" I think that's a fairly um, likely possibility, um, given that you know, uh, like I say, we've seen her in Flux and the Centenary. So it kind of makes sense if you unit her in like the next story for Warhead to carry over. It'd be kind of weird if she didn't, at least like for like a minor cameo role. Um, you know, but like yeah, I'd, so I definitely would say um, I definitely say Kate Stewart being back is like a likely possibility. Yeah, I would say so. Now nah, Kate's not gonna die in the centenary. I'm telling you that now. I, well, I mean, I'm not saying that I know that for sure. I'm just guessing. I don't think they're going to kill off Kate in in the centenary. I could be wrong, um, but I'm not. I'm not seeing that. Like, uh, I can't see that anyway. I could be wrong, but I can't see it as of as of right now. You said you that you wanted the Candyman. What did you mean by that? Oh yeah, I've always said I'd like to see the Candyman back, the villain from the the. Um, the Happiness Patrol. I love the idea of like a mercenary who's like made a sweet. So I think that's just a really cool idea. Um, do you think we'll get Torchwood back? I'd be interested to see Torchwood again, but it would be kind of weird now. Like obviously, you, you know, the whole John Barryman thing. Uh, not to not to weigh down the stream too much, but like, uh, you know, I think it would be weird having Torchwood without like Jack there. Um, it's not impossible, but like I think units kind of like probably like there's probably a reason they're going for, for unit i guess i don't know could be wrong uh that last image you showed looks like the same alley where donna's head exploded at the end of time yeah it does actually i don't think they're going to kill off um uh i don't think they're going to kill off kate stewart and make her a side man like they did with the brigadier i think i mean it's possible but i do kind of feel like that room is just based on hey we saw her get taken by the side man in the trailer and 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 the brigadier got killed by a cyberman, so it kind of makes sense for her to go the same way. Obviously, I'm not ruling it out. It could happen. I I just think it's a bit like it's a bit too much of a assumption based on just what you can already see. Does that make sense? Hello from New New York. Wow, you're from like the 22nd century. That is pog. Do you have flying cars yet? Oh yeah, there was someone. Um, who like yeah someone's just added me in something but i don't i don't think this is real i don't think uh i'm doing well thank you i'm doing well um yeah if you haven't already be sure to subscribe if you want to uh you know chat in the chat because i know there's some people who probably in fact i can probably turn off slow mode as well let me do that real quick um edit uh, i'm going to turn off slow mode so hopefully the chat doesn't get too mad but hopefully it should be fine but yeah, if you want to chat, make sure you're subscribed. Um, yeah, someone did show me something. They did at me in something on Twitter of like a, apparently a Reddit post 
that was like was supposedly leaking the the centenary title. I doubt it's legit. It does kind of look like someone's just done like inspect element and gone, you know, changed some stuff up and you know sort of written up synopsis is based on the leaks. It's not impossible. I mean, I can show it, but I don't think it's real. It's just, um, it says here, an unearthly doctor. Um, it says, the description reads, this is the day you die. Uh, As the time fall begins, the doctor is reunited with old friends and formidable enemies, the forces that move against her and their master, prepare to wage war across the universe. Will the doctor save her friends in time? Will the dark alliance prevail? Or does the doctor have an ace up her sleeve? Um... Yeah, it seems very based on, like, sort of the, the the leaks and stuff. Like, it could be real, but, like, you know, I'm always just when people, like, have, like, website screen grabs that are apparently taken down and only one person has seen them. Like, it could be true, but I, I'm very doubtful of that. Like, it's, it's the sort of thing... Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the title either. Like, it's not, like... <laughs> I could see it being a title, something like that, but yeah, I, I kind of agree. It does sound very fanficy, so I'm not overly convinced of that either, to be honest. Um, it's obvious they're back for one special, but do you think there will actually be a 60th anniversary in November? I'm I'm thinking there's going to be three specials, and obviously one of them is going to tie into this like 60th, I def- and it's going to be on the 60th day. Uh, please change the month of your calendar. Yes, I'm sorry. I haven't changed it over yet. I'll change it over after the stream because the way I've been doing it is that I've had to sort of tape it up because I don't have a pin. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll change that after the stream. But, yeah, thank you for reminding me. You know, it was interesting. I got a bunch of comments, right, being like, why is it the Sixth Doctor? Like, why is it the Sixth Doctor? It's May, not June. It's like, but it says May on the calendar. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. It's the calendar's fault. Uh you know, uh, so yeah, basically what's been happening is we've just been going over some of the images from set. There's been like images of unit trucks and the like, um, uh, and PKE lighting systems and lighting cranes and that sort of thing. Um, but like, as I said, they, they were supposedly starting at, uh, six today. So that should mean that like over the, the next like hour or so, we're going to get more stuff. Um, my, my neighbor's dog really is just not letting up on the barking. Does she not know I have a stream? I think it's she. Could be wrong. Um, but yeah, like, what was I saying? Things and stuff. Um, bomb Taker was my favorite boctor. I agree. I think he was the best boctor of them all. No, I, my favorite boctor is Bat... No. No, hang on. How would that work? My favourite boxer is Bat Bith. There you go. I don't even hear the dog. Yeah, to be fair, um, the um, the stream uh, Streamlabs uh, might be... Not Streamlabs, sorry, OBS. Sorry, I'm using the wrong name of the thing. It's probably censoring it out. Because I've noticed that on when I've looked at these streams retrospectively, like when I've clicked on them to like watch them after they've been live. Like I'll say I can hear things, but none of you, like you can't actually hear it on the video. So if I'm saying that a dog's barking, I haven't gone insane. It's just that you guys can't hear it. Um, and I actually have the powers. Uh, we did have a little update from um, from a friend uh, on set, from Liam. He's just saying, just arrived. They haven't started yet. Think extras are arriving. Um, I'm just going to take a screenshot of that and just show you that message. I haven't had an accompanying image for it, uh, but I'll send it to you nonetheless. Um, I'll show you guys what he's saying nonetheless. Shout out to Liam again for just being on set and um, you know showing me all this stuff. Appreciate it. Also, there's someone else who said they were going to send me some stuff, so I'm going to accept one of their messages. But yeah, here you can see, you know. Nothing started yet, extras arriving, you know, stuff like that. Um, apparently there's another message as well, so I'm going to just check that. I don't think Liam minds being on the stream, but yeah, the lighting rig is up as well, according to Liam as well, so there you are. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, there was someone else saying they was going to try and get me exclusive firmos, so I'm just going to, like, I'll, I'll give them a thumbs up. 
Uh, so I'll do that so that they know that I'm I'm down, I'm down a clown. Um, what time will they be filming until today? I've heard it's a night shoot, so that could be like two, three, four a.m. I'm not gonna go that long. I'm probably I'll probably cap this off at like ten, eleven p.m. UK time. Uh, what's everyone's opinion on Doctor Who Redacted? I've only listened to the first two, but I really enjoyed what I listened to. I do need to catch up. Do you think we could see Osgood in this too? I think it's possible. Has Bad Wolf 3 leaked any more info? I haven't heard anything more from him. No. I haven't really heard anything more. Yeah, my calendar was on 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 May just because I haven't switched it over to June yet. Um, someone's saying Kate will be in the 60th specials. She's not been killed off. Osgood will not feature. Smith is in it. Whitaker has a cameo. McGann and Daphne Ash. Where is this coming from, Jay Warner? Like, I want to believe you, but where is this coming from? Like, what's the basis, you know? Yeah, 2, 3 a.m. So I'm probably not going to be streaming that long. I'm probably going to, like, I'm going to try and um, stream for as long as I can and as much of it as I can. But I think it's going to cap at, like, 10, 11 p.m. for me. So, um, yeah, bear that in mind. I'm not streaming until, like, 2 a.m. Um, I do not have the energy, nor the stamina, nor the skill to keep myself going until, uh, until 2 a.m. Um, but... Yeah, as I said, if you want to chat in the live stream and you are new and you're just joining, make sure you're subscribed. We're 19 subscribers away from, from 14,400. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Also, as many people have pointed out, you can super chat. So that's your prerogative. You can do that as well. Shooty is not on set. Shooty probably won't be on set for a while because I believe he's filming like the Barbie film and I believe that like there's two separate blocks. So he'll probably be in the second block later in the year. Um, so we're probably not going to see much of him for a while, I wouldn't say. Because um, I think he's going to be Tenant first and then... But yeah. Ooh. I feel sad that the characters and writers are now being judged by gender and race. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of sad that, like, people are just getting upset about that. Like, it's kind of sucks. Like, Shooty's a very accomplished actor, as is Yasmin Finney. So, yeah, it's done. Uh, when do you think the Cutie, or Shooty, I keep saying it wrong, will start filming? Probably around, um, if I had to guess, because I think the, the filming, one of the filming, um, one of the job listings said that, like, the filming for one project was going to be in, like, so it was, like, from sort of April till July, which is this slot. Uh, and then the other one was going to be like, I think November until early 2024. So probably like November of this year, if I had to guess, uh, October, November. Uh, who would you like as shoot his companion? I think, honestly, I could see Lydia West doing a really great companion, so I would not be opposed to her. Or, um, uh, what was the other one? Who's the other um, one that I saw that would be good? The one from Sex Education I saw speculated. Um, can't remember her name. The one that plays the, the girl who's really into aliens. Her. I, th I think she might be quite good as well. So, yeah, those are my two choices. Uh, Darius, do you think Russell has or will ask any of the old doctors to come back? Because for some reason, I just don't think... He's trying to get old doctors back for the 60th. I'm not sure. I've heard, you know, I've heard a lot of conflicting things about it. I think he knows the momentousness of the, like, anniversary. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that regard. Uh, Rose Noble is companion. I feel like she's just going to be a character for the specials. I could be wrong. But, um, you know... Like, I think she's just going to be something for these Tenant and Tate 
special episodes, and that's going to be about it. Um, although I'd like to be proven wrong in that regard. You know, I'd like to be proven wrong. I'd like there to be, you know, more, more stuff with uh, that character. Because I think that character is just an inherently interesting idea. Like, you know, the the daughter of a, a famous companion. Like, that's, that's an interesting avenue to explore. And it's something we've not really had. We've not really had the Doctor traveling with like the children of their of their previous companions like there's a lot not that i can think of anyway i i don't really think i can think of any examples when that's been the case beyond i guess technically river song being amy and rory's kid but like can you really oh I mean, you can count that but it's like I, you know i mean I, I haven't seen like them travel with someone who is considered a kid within the show Uh, could be permanent and the link with RTD1 and RTD2 areas. What? Uh, Yasmin Finney being the companion? Or... Uh, I want a brother and sister companion to artist team. We've never had that before. Yeah, that might be quite interesting. The closest we got was uh, like John and Jillian in the comics. Anyone know those comics? Where the Doctor has more grandkids somehow. Um, yeah, do that. Bring back John and Jillian. and everyone ever asks for Susan just do John and Jillian instead just to annoy people. Um Oh god, not James Corden. Yeah, I don't think somehow I'm not sure that James Corden's gonna be the next companion. Somehow I doubt that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would be interested to see it, but it's a little self-indulgent, so I see why RTE would want to not have it continue. Yeah, I, I, I could see her being a recurring character, like maybe not full-time companion, but maybe, maybe in a similar vein to what, like, you know how Martha Jones came back in series four, or like, you know, um, probably a better example would be someone like Captain Jack or River Song, you know, someone who isn't necessarily part of the main lot, but might occasionally pop in to say hello with Shooty, possibly. I could see that. I could see Yasmin filling that role. Uh, well, he is leaving the Late Late Show yet. Yeah, but that I don't know whether that means, you know, Doctor Who. Do you think we'll have another female Doctor? I think after shooting, I think it's definitely possible. I think, yeah, I think it's possible we can get we can have another one. I would be interested to see one written by Russell. I think Russell would probably be the guy to pull it off, you know, and prove that, like, obviously, you know, I think Joe Martin to me proved that it could work, but I think Russell could really cement, you know, that idea, like, really well, I think, but yeah. Um, I think the Doctor, uh, River not involved in the six. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think River's gonna be. I don't think we're gonna see River in the show again. To be honest, um, like I don't. I think it's gonna be a sort of. Uh, what you call it? Like I think River's a case where it's like her story ended, and I'd rather them leave it there rather than keeping bringing her back and doing more stuff with it. Do you kind of know what I mean? Like I don't want. I don't want River's story to keep getting continued. Like, I've not really listened to much of it, but I'm, I'm personally not the biggest fan of how, like, you know, River's canonically met every Doctor now, and, you know, stuff like that, because it kind of makes the whole tragedy of, of River losing the Doctor feel, like, less special to me, because, oh, I've still had, like, thousands of years worth of, like, time with this, with this guy, and it's like, I don't know, like, I, I think as well the whole idea of, you know, the Doctor being too young to remember in Silence of the Library is kind of, you know, that's less effective if, oh, they've met the third Doctor, you know. Shouldn't we need Space Wives to happen? I, I really don't think you're going to see that now because Jodie's on her last episode and it's not looking like Alex Kingston's planning on coming back. Yeah, no, I know it's a joke, I'm just, yeah. Did anyone else at the start of Flux think Swarm was going to turn out to be Omega? I did see a few people say after the fact that Omega would have been a good villain for Flux because they dealt with um, Antimatter, and that's always kind of been... 
that's always kind of been Omega's thing. So, yeah, you're not the first person I've seen suggest, like, Omega being involved with the villain flux. Someone just locked the door. Uh, simple solution. No, I think Big Fin. I, the, the thing is, canon, I'm, my, like, my approach to canon is always just sort of, if I like it, cool. If I don't, I just sort of ignore it, I guess. Uh, what's going on? We're basically just waiting for, like, filming stuff. It's one of those filming streams. We've had a couple images. I could probably go go over some of them again. Uh, would RTD ever bring back River Song? I just kind of feel like the, the character's story's done, I think. So you're locked in? No, no, it's, it's just not my door or another door. But I am, my, my door is locked, but yeah. Uh, River's dynamic with some classic Doctors is really interesting, though. But yeah, it's gone too far at this point. Oh, no, I'm not saying, like, the dynamics couldn't be interesting. I guess why my point is, I just feel like it's a little less... It makes the story a little less... Make a little less sense when they've met, like, every one of them. Although I think, you know, they probably do a great job with it. It's just, for me personally, I'd rather it be she hadn't met anyone before 10. Because otherwise, I don't know, it kind of just... Kind of just devalues that whole thing of, like, oh, you're the youngest, I've seen you. It's like... Is there copyright issues with using Omega in the TV show? I think so. I think the same person who owns, like, K-9 and is trying to get that K-9 film going for years is also the same one who has the rights to Omega. I could be wrong. I think that's the case, but... Yeah. Uh, not much has seems to, to, to have happened from the set yet. Obviously, I was told, you know, 6pm was the starting point. I've not seen much else other than unit trucks and stuff but that's always how it starts these streams always start off a little bit slow and then they build up gradually to more stuff so um yeah it's gonna be a long stream anyway so um we're just gonna be chilling would they give a river a spin-off i think that's more likely than her appearing alongside the doctor to be honest um i mean i could see like a malady malone type type deal i think that would be interesting maybe with her being like a sort of detective type thing that might be quite fun i don't know uh, who would um, be a good choice to play the toy maker if he's the villain? Honestly, I don't know. Um, I know that Roger Lloyd Pack played um, the the cyber. You know, he played John Lewick, but I think if he was still with us, he'd be a decent choice um, to play the celestial toy maker. Um, I feel like he could pull it off, but obviously he's not with us anymore. Um, I'm not sure. You'd need someone sort of uh, grand to play the toy maker. I'm not sure. I mean, you know, you go to, you go to fan cast for any like Doctor Who villains, just Richard E. Grant. But you know, obviously he was he was um, the great intelligence in series seven. But I would, you know, I, I would love it if he got another shot at redemption, sort of thing. But yeah. I really hope the trickster is behind the 60th. Oh, I would love that. I'm not convinced it's going to happen. I would love it if it did happen, though. Like, it just makes so much sense. Like, imagine, you know, you get a flashback to the 10th Doctor's regeneration, right? And, and like, the trickster appears. And, like, the Doctor says, I don't want to go. And, and the trickster's like, you don't have to go. And we can do this. And it's like... You know, they, they strike a deal in, like, the Doctor's moment of weakness and it creates this, like, bizarro timeline. That would be sick. I don't think they're going to do that, but it would be cool. How soon will we see a major push for new and refreshed Doctor Who merchandise? Now that Jodie is gone, I want a 12 Doctor Sonic and Flight Control TARDIS. The 12 Doctor Sonic... The, the, the 12 Doctor Flight Control TARDIS is a thing... It was a limited Toys R Us release. I do have it. I paid a bit too much for it, admittedly. But, yeah, I do agree with you. Uh, 12, 12 Sonic is also a thing. I think you might have meant 14, but yes, I do agree. Like, I want everything for the new era. Yeah, Omega and K9 are created by Bob Baker and Dave Martin. The K9 film is probably never going to happen after Bob Baker passed away. And even when it was, I mean, even when it was there were issues there weren't issues with the show using them yeah so there you are do you think rtd thinks chibnall here is good i i don't know um obviously they you know i'm not sure really 
Um, I would like to see Richard E. Grant as Shao Kahn again. That'd be fun. I mean, you know, since we know the multiverse is a thing, you know, I, I'd be down for that. I doubt it'll happen, but I'd like it to. Yeah, nothing much has really happened yet beyond just like the unit trucks from earlier. Do do do. Maybe they're sort of waiting for it to get a bit darker. Maybe that's why. Hence night shoot. So what time does it actually get dark? What time does it get dark? Okay, it gets dark at about nine. So um, yeah, they could be waiting around. Uh, or they, you know, they could have a couple of daytime shots. Um, but you know, we know that they've been set up since about like what 12 this morning 12 this afternoon rather so um yeah the I you know I think we're definitely gonna see some more stuff soon I would imagine the show shouldn't overindulge in multiverse stuff I do agree I, I think a little bit like a little bit would be fun but yeah I don't want them to go too mad with it Mad Crisis and Rose spin off I think that's like, that could happen, but I could only ever see it being a limited thing, because, like, David Tennant is, like, you know, really busy these days, as is as is uh, Billy Piper, but both of them have worked with Bad Wolf, so, I mean, it is possible. I, I would see that being, like, a limited-run series, kind of like... By the way, has anyone been watching Kenobi? Any got any Star Wars fans? Because I've really been enjoying Kenobi. I'm not a massive Star Wars fan, I'm, like, a casual one. You know, I'll watch the movies, occasional TV show. I've really been enjoying Kenobi, though, personally. Um... Haven't watched Kenobi. Okay, I would suggest it. It's great. I'm I'm really be enjoying it. Kenobi, my beloved. Yeah, I've really been enjoying it. Rather good. Yeah, I I agree. I'm I've been really enjoying it. Um, you know, like I won't I'll try not to spoil it, but the one scene with the fire, man. I love that scene. That scene was great. See, a lot of people are saying it's, like, bad, but, like, I, I personally have been really enjoying it, so, um... I, I've watched Kenobi, but there are things I don't like about it. Obviously, it's not perfect, but I think the character work done is, is really decent. Uh, and visual plot is a bit all over the place. Fair enough. I think there are definitely worse. I think the, the little girl they've got playing, um... The little girl they've got playing Leia is doing, like, an outstanding job. She's incredibly talented for her age. I can't think of her name off the top of my head now, but she was, she's phenomenal. Like she really channels the energy of, of that character really well, considering obviously, like I said, her age. I'm sick. Oh, I hope you get better, Pyronova. Hope you get better. In other Thary's related news, while we're waiting for some more filming stuff, I've, I've decided to buy a Steam Deck. Um, if you don't know me, obviously I like playing my games, but I'm particularly a handheld fan. You know, I like collecting portable consoles, and I just love... Even though I barely move anywhere, I don't know, there's just something about the handheld form factor that's always been slightly more appealing to me than the console form factor. Um, so playing, like, big AAA games, like, in the hand, it's the same thing, like reason I love to Switch at the time, but... You know, the Steam Deck's like the more powerful version of that. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, they just announced that, that Spider-Man, the PS4 game, is coming to Steam as well. Like the remastered one. So can't wait to play that portably. That's going to be sick. But yeah, that's another bit of news from me. Hashtag Thary's bought a Steam Deck. I did. I had to get it. Oh, is it really good? Is it really good, Half Peeps? Yeah, I, I had to get it off eBay because they're like the whole... That whole selling system um, is, like, really weird because, like, you've got to reserve one and then it'll, like, get shipped out in, like, a few months. I think it's probably to do with, like, chip shortages and COVID and all that sort of stuff, which is understandable. But um, I got mine off eBay and I actually paid less for it than I would have if I'd have bought it on the Steam store. So there you are. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what monsters do you think will appear in the 60th? I'm not sure. I kind of hope we don't see the Daleks, personally. 
I'm kind of a bit sick of seeing them, if I'm being completely honest. I mean, look, I love the way RTD writes the Daleks, okay? But at the same time, we've seen a lot of the Daleks in recent Uh, this is the third stream in a row where we are missing the iconic Blue Therese Adidas shirt. Fun fact, I did actually go out into town and was wearing it then. Um, and I was out with Jean and we, like, the, the co-host of Wild and Never and we went out for food and he's like, Oh, you're wearing the iconic Therese shirt. It's like, it's, it's weird that that's become a thing. Um. Oh, sorry about, sorry about that, Bile. I'm sorry you're sick, man. Hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, actually, you know, my mum's sick as well. I think there might be a bug going around. Are the Sontarans back? Um, not that I know of. Thary's merch. There is Thary's merch. If you want to go to... Um, uh, let, me, let me get that up. I am also thinking about doing a P.O. box. That's one of my things I'm, I'm planning on doing relatively soon. So, uh, watch out for that. Um... COVID-69, <laughs> yes. But yeah, that's the merch, if you're interested in that. We've got shirts and jackets and mugs and all that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in that. Rare moment, I've caught you live during How Are You and What's the News? Uh, I'm good. News is basically, they're filming on Axminster Road. We've had shots of unit trucks um, and lighting rigs and stuff. Not much more than that. Uh, but I assume they're starting at 6 and there's probably going to be more more of that going forward. I think this is the same image before, but like someone else is just, someone else has tweeted what looks to be like a very similar image. Uh, just saying, uh, oop, let me get rid of it. Uh, unit trucks around the back of the street. So far, just two, two here to watch. I'd assume there's going to be more stuff coming. We've just got to sort of be patient in that regard. That's why this is a longer stream. You know, it's going to be a long stream where we're just going over film and stuff. So, um, yeah. Leak theories. Uh, theories merge comes with free leaks. Can you confirm? I cannot confirm or deny at this time. No comment. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, do -do 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 -do. Uh, yeah, send sweets to the P.O. box. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so fat. If you start sending sweets, man, that's gonna be... Someone's doing the two hearts plus blue box thing. For some reason, that got filtered out. For some weird reason, some, like, completely benign messages just get, like, filtered out of the system sometimes, and I don't know what the reasoning is. They just sometimes just... get moved. It's very weird. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not seeing much else. I did see someone reply to the unit truck. Um, I did see someone reply to the unit truck image saying that it was like a line. Maybe it's because they're there and they didn't see it. But, you know, Liam retweeted it. So I assumed that that is there because, you know, I assume he'd seen it as well. But... And yeah, he said earlier that he'd seen like unit van. So yeah, they're definitely they're definitely there. There is I tried to become a member and it took my money, but it didn't let me join. Oh, that is weird. I'm not really sure what I do about that. Um That might be a YouTube thing. I can see what I can do. Um I'd suggest maybe contacting YouTube about that. I'm not sure what I can do from here. I can have a look for you. Uh, yeah, you haven't been added to the, the member list from what I can see. So I'd assume that's something on YouTube's end. Um, yeah, it might be worth getting in touch with them about that. Because they've taken your money as well. Um, yeah. Because I get a percent. I get like a portion of that. Like the Cyberman head next to you. Thank you. You can't really see him. I probably should turn him around. But yeah, he is there. Um, favorite Cyberman design. The Tomb ones. The Tomb ones. Absolutely. Hi, Tharys. I think you're brilliant. Thank you. Um... Hello from Pennsylvania, I'm really enjoying Kenobi 2, the first scene was shocking. Uh, what's the first scene of Kenobi? Can't remember the first scene. Um, for, fair enough, how's Dennis? He's doing well, he's doing well. He's doing pretty good. And he's got Davros next to him as well. 
Just type in Christopher Eccleston on multi Doctor episodes and 50th anniversary. Oh, the whole thing about yeah, yeah. And I've seen his his video about him at uh, one of the the conventions, basically saying why he doesn't do multi Doctors. Yeah, I saw that. And he was like, "Oh, you, if you want me back, you get me on my own." All that stuff. You have the Lego. I do. I don't know where it is, but I did have it. I used to have Lego Dimensions, but I sold that, and I kind of regret doing it now. How can I become a member? Okay, becoming a member is really simple. So you see, if you're on my channel, there's a little join button, and um, for, for one ninety nine a month, you get your own badge, you get emojis for the live streams, and you get a shout out in every video as well so um, yeah if you want to do that you knock yourself out yeah you just got to click the join button and it should let you do it uh, if you have the funds and you want to uh, that's how you do it order 66 I liked that first scene to be honest I thought the first, like I thought the order 66 scene was cool I thought that was neat but maybe I'm just wrong I liked that scene uh, do you reckon we'll get the doctor experience back eventually I hope so, but I mean, it kind of looks like Worlds of Wonders, kind of like a like an alternative. Like it's not, um, it's not like the same, but it's like, oh, thank you, Nova Wolf Gaming, for becoming a a top chair. Thank you, thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, yeah, probably wouldn't knock yourself out. Yeah, I'm not seeing many updates yet. Um, other than someone, uh, other than uh, Half Peep saying he's playing my stream on the Steam Deck, which is incredibly fun. Um, yeah, I, I actually went into to CEX to hold it, and it's surprisingly light as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Nova Wolf Gaming, for becoming a member. I really do appreciate that. Uh, as I said, members, you know, you get shout outs at the end of all the videos. So yeah, if you want to do that, then. You're more than welcome. Hello. Oh yeah, also, if you are joining the stream just now and you can't chat, uh, that'll be because... Um, that'll be because you're not subscribed. So yes. So do 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 do. Just waiting for more updates at the moment. It's always a bit slow when you do these live streams. I like doing the live stream format for filming because you get to cover stuff as it releases. But the downside to that is that there is, you know, some downtime where, you know, there's not as much going on. Uh, are we going to see anything major today? I hope so. We know that definitely Unit are there. It's looking like the Noble Residence are possibly Donna. I'd assume the Doctor as well. So, yeah, we could see some really fun stuff, I think. Um... Yeah, you know, definitely that. So I think it's it's a bigger scene. It's looking like. Uh, yeah, I'm just sort of waiting for more stuff at the moment. Uh, Therese, if you, if you were a packet of crisps, what flavor would you be? Uh, salt and vinegar. I don't know why that was just immediate thought that came to my head. Uh, take that how you will. I'm thinking of buying a 10th Doctor Go. Oh, oh yeah, you're talking about the Absorbal Off the meme. Yeah, I saw that. Um, yeah, I kind of want to get the when the there's the stuff for the new uh, costume. Like when people got like a more definitive look at that, I want to cosplay the new 10th Doctor. I think that would be kind of sick. But uh, yeah, now nah, prawn cocktail. I'm prawn cocktail. Don't know how I feel about that. I'm thinking of buying an Absorbal Off coat. How would you make an Absorbal Off coat? I'm just sort of instantly thinking of like a, a twisted version of 101 Dalmatians, but it's like 101 absorbal offs and like, you know, sort of making them into a coat. Um, anyway, Slitheen are allergic to vinegar. That's true. That's because I would be a deterrent to Slitheen. Because uh, even, even as a crisp, I would be fighting aliens. Most definitely. Prawn cock I do like prawn cocktail. I have to be in the right mood for it, though. Like, it wouldn't be like my default, but I do like prawn cocktail. I don't know. 
Can't wait for the Absorbal off to consume the Daleks and he becomes the ultimate Doctor Who fan. It's just a matter of time, really. It's just a matter of time. But yeah, we've got about, what, like 13 subscribers until we get to 14,400. So if you're not subscribed and you are enjoying the stream, you know, please do that. We'd appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not seeing much more from the filming yet, other than, you know, the stuff I've already shown. Uh, we'll be showing more as soon as I get it, though. Uh, Darry's crisps in or out of sandwich out. I'm sorry, I'm not a big fan of the whole let's put our crisps in a sandwich thing. I just, no, it makes them feel too, like, sharp and crunchy. No, it's wrong. It's wrong. And no amount of marketing or advertisement is going to make me change my mind. You're the number one Doctor Who new YouTuber. Well, thank you. Am I that new? I mean, I guess I'm kind of new relatively, but yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, news. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, thank you. Um, wait, don't be an idiot. Sandwich crisps out. I agree. Crisps do not belong in a sandwich. I'm sorry. How long did it take you to get your collection of Doctor Who figures? Um, a while. So, again, it was kind of a case I went through like when I was younger, like selling stuff off. But then I regretted it and I had to start buying stuff again. There's some like figures you can see that like I, I you know, you can't see in the background, but they're there. Um, and like. I, uh, I actually bought a couple. I bought like a stack from um, Confused Adipose and I bought my Yellow Paradigm Dalek, which you can see. Actually, you can't. The microphone's covering it right now. But um, the, my Yellow Paradigm Dalek was, was bought from, from Ace Creeper. So that's a bit of lore for you. Um, is there a YouTuber black market of action figures? I'll let you decide. But. Why do you buy 13 Doctor Figures? I mean, you got to have, like, all of them in order. Even if I'm not a big 13 Doctor fan, I'm still going to buy the 13 Doctor Figure and the variants because, I don't know, just like having the figures to collect. Yo, the Thary's lore update. Yeah, let's go. I've got more lore than, like, Dark Souls. Or, like, the Hunger Games. I'm actually, you know what, the Hunger Games prequel is kind of like one of the few prequels I'm interested in seeing, because like, that world's like quite interesting, so I'm quite excited for that. Every so often I'll just re-watch the Hunger Games films, I quite enjoy them. Um, do, 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 do. What sandwich meat with crisps? Well, I mean, I'm not putting the, the crisps in the sandwich, let's make that clear, but if we're talking about what meat I'd have in a sandwich, I kind of like ham and cheese, obviously cheese isn't a meat, but you know what I mean. Like, that would probably be my, like, default. I quite like, um, sort of, caramelized onion, or, like, um, what's it called? Like, Branston, like, I kind of like that, that in, in, like, I like baguette bread, though, personally, more so than regular bread. Uh, I have a bunch of figures, including all of the Doctors so far, but since I moved house, I actually put, I actually haven't had a shelf to put them on. Yeah, definitely get one. Definitely get one. I would recommend, um, Darius, what's your opinion on the toast sandwich? You're just putting bread in bread. It just it doesn't make any sense. Pointless now. Uh, if you like it, fair enough. Uh, what's your opinion on uh, the Dreamland episode? I have kind of have nostalgia for it because I remember it airing on CBBC a couple of times, but it's not great, is it? Like, let's let's be real. Um, you know, it's not it's not a masterpiece or anything. Um. Hoobermeal should make a return. That is the Hoobermeal. <laughs> the Hoobermeal's kind of dumb, but I would I wouldn't be opposed to it making like a joke cameo. Favorite big finish story: Davros. Just Davros, the one where he taught Sake takes over a company. That's my favorite one. I've not listened to a ton of big finish, but I did like that one a lot. 
So I'm going to say that. Wasn't there like a Therry Shrekler or something yet? When Ads Inc, you'd always tell like when Ads Inc co-edited videos because occasionally he would edit them. Uh, nowadays, I'm sort of editing everything, but um, you know, whenever Ads Inc co-edits a video, you'll just get um, uh, just random Shrek stuff. Therry say gay rights, gay rights. And happy pride as well. See, I'm, I'm a cool guy. Darry's opinion on Marmite, rank, disgusting. Ew, gross, no. Next question. Have you seen Capaldi has been left out of the 2023 calendar? I have, and I am not happy about it, but hopefully it gets rectified. But yeah, that's, how do you miss that? That's really weird to me. Uh, there is what's your favourite episode of New Who? Uh, ooh, I sort of go between Turn Left and Amy's Choice. There's like, they're, they're kind of constantly in the mouth. Uh, who wouldn't edit themselves? I normally, like, like look, like, 90%, 90, 95% of the videos on, like, the Therese channel are, like, edited by me. It's just occasionally, you know, especially when I was trying to do daily uploads, occasionally you got to get someone else in to just, you know, make sure that things keep going. Surely you need the Morbius Doctor figures as well. You know, the only Morbius we, we acknowledge in this household is um, Michael Morbius. Uh, it's Morbin time. Um, let's go. You know, I was kind of hoping we'd have seen a bit more by now, but we've not really. But, um, Veggie Mice. I just don't know. Like, I, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that either. Uh, what do you love about Amy's Choice Series? I don't think it's a great character piece. I think you learn so much about the dynamics between the Doctor, uh, Amy and Rory in that one episode. I think the the concept of like, you know, getting stuck in dreams and stuff and like the whole idea of Dream Lord of being like, you know, the dark reflection of the Doctor is like, you know, great. I just think it's a really, really solid episode. Really fantastic stuff. I think it's visually really nice as well. Yeah. Really underrated, in my opinion. There are so many great episodes in here. I would also say Waters of Mars enters the conversation for me as well, definitely. Um, and Midnight and things like Yeah, there are just so many, but the two I tend to sort of say are like um, Amy's Choice or Turn Left. I kind of like those weird, like, more conceptual episodes, like Dreams or Alternate Timelines, or those ones that are like, just a little bit odd. Like, those tend to be, like, my favourites. Um, I guess Midnight is up there for a similar reason. You know, it's not quite a conventional Doctor Who episode, I guess. Do, 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 do. Bring back Morbius in Series 14 so we can hear the line at Morbin Time. Absolutely. I would say World Nifton Time is a great episode for me. Yeah, I'd agree. I would agree. That would probably be up there as well. There are a lot of good new Who stuff to choose from. It's mental to me that there are genuinely people who think that, like, Doctor Who stopped being good after, like, you know, Tannant. It's like, there's some great stuff in, like, the Moffat era. Do you play any instruments? No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I am not very musically gifted at all. Um... I pretended to be able to in primary school so I could use the guitar when someone else wanted to use it because I was that kind of person. But no. Um, have they said we're getting a Christmas special this year? They have not uh, said that officially, no. They have not said that officially. Um, they have not said that officially. Time of the Doctor is painfully underrated. Agreed. I like your figure collection. Thank you. I am going to pop. I will be right back. Give me one second. And I'm back, everybody. Sorry for leaving you to yourselves for a moment. Hopefully you didn't do anything crazy while I wasn't here. There we are. And I'm back. 
Hey yo! We made it, London 1965. Have you read The Riot's Tale? I haven't, I know of it. I know some of the things that are in it. Uh, I should read it properly. But yeah, that's my answer. Um, I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting for more stuff. Yeah, I was kind of expecting there to be more stuff by now, but there hasn't been. Do you think we'll get one? Get one what? Christmas special. I think that's possible, yeah. I've always loved the Unicorn and the Wasp. Uh, yeah, it's decent. I wouldn't call it, like, you know, greatest at New Who or anything. It's, it's fine. Like, it's, it's a decent one. Doctor Who stopped being good in 1963. Have you seen season three of The Boys yet? Is it out? Oh, I need to watch that if it's out. Opinions on the Doctor Who poop YouTube channel, very funny. Uh, Therese, check your Twitter out. Okay. Oh, wow. That is nightmarish, terrifying. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about that, but um, thanks very much for that. Yeah, there's not been much else going on though in all seriousness to do with uh, Hi Therese, anyone have you seen? I haven't seen Time Travel's Wife yet. I do want to see it. That's another one that's on the list. So yeah, I probably should give that a watch. Because it's, it's very Doctor Who-esque. Like a lot of lines. Uh, Therese was upset. I was. I was slightly terrified. Uh, that image is newsworthy. That is true. That deserves to be on the BBC right there. Do, 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 do we know when Moffat's show in some going to come out? I'm not sure. Uh, what's up just got here? Basically, we're just uh, they're filming in Axminster Road right now. There's been a couple of unit images uh, from filming and stuff. Not much more than that. Have you seen the movie Bicentennial Man? The Robin Williams one? Yeah, I don't remember it being that good if I remember, but could be wrong. Um, could be wrong. I've always loved Blink and how cryptic it was. The horror element storytelling. The Weeping Angels, which is great. Yeah, Blink is really good. <laughs> Sari is starring in series 14 as the Candyman's relative, Chris Man. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm not seeing much else, unfortunately. I, like I said, maybe it is just get gearing up. But, um, yeah, not seeing much. The BBC announced the flavour of crisp that Donna's husband Sean is, uh, is eating at the start of the 60th anniversary special. Wow, that would be big news. Uh, can you sing your favourite Murray Gold character theme? Oh, but there's so many good ones. Um... I guess, like, Donna's is the one that, like, instantly jumps out to me. It's probably not my favourite, but it's, like, very easily, like, it's very memorable, is that one. You know, the... That one. Oh, we love Boomtown. Yeah, Boomtown is very underrated. I would agree. I would agree. Yeah, but I, yeah, well, I mean, I Am the Doctor's not, well, I, mean, I guess that is a character theme, yeah. I thought you were saying, like, RTD era, but yeah, like, uh, yeah, I Am the Doctor is very iconic. Yeah, Bill seems very underrated. That's the, um, the dun 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 I like that one. Are there any more filming links yet? Nope, there isn't. As soon as there is, I will tell you. Um, but there has not been yet. I'm just sort of waiting. Yeah, the only the only downside to these is, is that you are occasionally just sort of waiting for stuff. But, you know, it's still fun. We still have a chat. It's still chill. Also, if you are enjoying the stream and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We're 11 subscribers away from... 14,400 if, if you want to chat in the stream you got to make sure you're subscribed so yeah 
Like we're we're only eleven away, and I haven't broken them like uh, broken another hundred in a while, so that'd be nice. Uh, so yeah, just subscribe for that. Um, but yeah. Good morning, good evening, good night, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, Happy New Year, Happy Valentine's, Happy uh, Day, whatever. Hi, Darius. I know it's your Doctor Who calendar. Uh, no, that's this is a different calendar. The new calendar without Peter is slightly different, I think. But Clara's theme, Clara's theme. Let me think of Clara's theme. That's the. Oh, sorry, I can't sing to save my life. Uh, David Tennant's hot. You're not wrong. Um, <laughs> What do you think of Johnny winning? Wait, what's, which one's Johnny winning? I'm trying to think if that was like a rude acronym, but I don't think it is. Tom for time with the Tim Phillips version, that is a good shout. It's a good shout. Oh, what's your favorite like, true driver there is? Oh, good question. It's it's honestly between these two. So it's between elevens and it's between tens. Like I genuinely cannot decide. I also like the TV movie Eighth Doctor One, or like I guess Seventh Doctor One as well. Uh, it's between these two, though, like I kind of like the simplicity of this one, but I think this one has like a lot of functionality. I like the uh, the the flicky, the flicky Magoo, that whole thing. I love that. Dig that. So um, yeah, either one of those two, to be honest. Darius, are you ever going to give us up, what, like, drugs? I don't think you guys are drugs, but no, probably not. Casually pulls out screwdrivers, you know, yeah, yeah, of course I, yeah. They're just sat on my desk. What is your favourite version of the Doctor Who theme song? Ooh. I quite like the movie one. It's quite grand and epic, and I quite dig it. I also like the 2008 Tenant version, the quick one. Dig that. I also kind of like Sagan's version of the theme. I'm not a big fan of Sagan, like a lot of people are, but I do dig his version of the theme. Obviously, the original Delia Derbyshire arrangement, that's always a classic. I quite like a few of the themes. Yeah, nothing new yet. Nothing new yet from what I'm seeing. Uh, it's mo mainly just the same, same stuff. Fairies, are you ever going to let us down? I mean, if you've been here this long, chances are I'll probably let you down already. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but you know. Um... Ah, see, I like the Delia version, man. We have the cocaine of here. I really can't even say that. Like, it's probably get taken down. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna give this up. I, like, even if I get busy in the future, I feel like occasionally I am just always gonna like do streams or do videos just because I enjoy doing them, really. Um. Oops, someone's messaged me. What are they saying? Someone sent a GIF. Not much has happened here yet. We've got moving footage. Everyone get hyped. I wouldn't get that excited. It's not. Hang on. I can't. Why can't I make it bigger? That's annoying. Um, it's a GIF, but I can't. I can't click it. That's very annoying. Um. Basically, it's slightly moving. Uh, don't want to show the guy's profile if he doesn't want to be shown. But basically, it's the same thing. It's the same thing we've basically seen before of like the truck, but not, uh, but not like as you know. It's actually moving this time. It's got like sort of its lights going off. If I zoom in, you guys can see it probably. I'm just trying not to show the guys. Actually, that would still show it, wouldn't it? Um, hopefully, he doesn't mind. I'll just show it for a second. But, oh, yeah, you can see here, not much has happened yet. You can just see the, the truck. It's a GIF, so I can't actually open it up separately for some reason, because Twitter doesn't allow that. But yeah, there you are. It's just the truck lighting up, um, getting ready to move by the looks of it. So uh, yeah, Crave News needs spoilers. Um, going to clip this and make it a Rickroll. What, the live stream? Just... Or just that one, or just that one bit with the. But yeah, we've got our first moving piece of stuff from the set, so that's cool. It's not a lot, but it's something. It's not Susan. I said I even said like, don't get too excited. It's just the truck moving slightly, but it is at least 
you know, a new piece of stuff. Um, do, do, do. Wait, who's retired? Uh, oh, Lee, oh, Lee Evans. I, apparently he's retired. Um, maybe they should just get me to play Lee Evans' character. I'm Welsh and nerd out over the Doctor. I've got all the qualifications required, you know? The fact you haven't seen children... I, I am... Torchwood is on my list. I need to watch it because it is a source of embarrassment for me. Um, you know, I've seen Doctor Who and Sarah J. Adventures and like, a lot of classic Who, and, but, you know, Torchwood's my one, like, grey area. I've even seen an episode of Class, but Torchwood is my one weak area, so it's something I need to... Um... Truck monster confirmed. I mean, to be fair, isn't the Atmos device kind of that, to be fair? Is this, is the Harry's a normal Welsh last name? I have met another family with it, so I assume it's fairly normal. <laughs> I assume. So yeah, uh, that's my answer to that question. <laughs> but yeah, that was a little bit of exclusive gift. So, uh, you know, if you want more exclusive stuff, stick around. We got nine subscribers away from 14,400. So if you haven't subscribed already, um, well, oh, can I say the... Everyone asks me this, right, if I can say the long Welsh name. Hang on. Let me get it up. Let me try. Uh, long Welsh town name. Oh, okay, I'm going to try my best. Canfire? No. <laughs> Canfire? Plugwingis? Pogeris? Oh, no. I give up. I give up. I give up. You have reached your final destination, and that story had a unit truck too. It did. Go, go, go. Yes, that's how you say it. Uh, yeah, I only watched Swordfoot about a year ago. It's honestly one of my favorite shows. Yeah, I do need to watch it. I really do. It's, it's something. Is it on iPlayer at the moment? Because if it is, that's probably going to push it up my priorities list. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I was going to say £50 and I'll watch Torchwood. No, I'm not going to do that. Although if you want to donate that, no, I'm joking. Uh, when's the next episode of the Fallout Who series? Uh, I, I was staying, because I actually had a Discord chat earlier, uh, the, yesterday, talking to the Discord. Um, I kind of hit a roadblock with that, because you know in the last episode of the Fallout videos where the TARDIS crashes, where it crashed was somewhere where if I stepped outside, I'd instantly blow up. So I had to basically like cheat to get the TARDIS to repair itself so I could leave. So it did kind of put, like, it did make the narrative flow of that a little bit weird, but I might carry that on. It depends, really. It depends if the demand's there for it. Uh... Torchbury is on my player. Thank you. Well, that's... that's made me want to watch it more now because I don't have to pay more money. In fact, I think I do have the, the, the Series 1 Torchwood Blu-ray. I just never watched it. So, um, I always had intentions of watching it, just never got around to it. Yeah, I did show it earlier on the stream, but that's all we have right now. It's not a lot. Um, yeah, like I said, you know, sometimes these streams can be slow, but I reckon it looks like they're starting to pick up now, so hopefully there's going to be more stuff as the evening goes on. It's a longer stream, you know? It's a more chill stream. Would love to watch you run through the whole Fallout Who Vegas storyline. I have thought about that. The only thing was, I did try and stream Fallout Who Vegas once, and it was uh, very glitchy. But, ooh! We've got a new image! New image! Spam! New image hype in the chat! Let's go! New image! Ooh, ooh, ooh. New image in chat! Let's go! All right, ba bam. Um, let me get it. Ba bam, bam, ba bam. Nope. Yes. Here, a bunch of Chucky Army Beals ready to roll sometime tonight. Here you can see. Yeah, they're definitely. Look at these unit trucks. Look at them. Yeah, this is definitely a more like heavy action scene with the amount of unit trucks we have here. You can you can even see if you look incredibly closely. 
that looks like the unit logo because it's got the wings and it's got the little globe thing it's definitely the unit logo unit trucks let's go let's go that's cool it's definitely looking like a bigger scene with the amount of unit trucks we've seen oh wow there's a lot of just people saying new image yes very exciting <laughs> new image let's go wait did i there we are that's brilliant, Tom, isn't it? I know, we love seeing images. Very cool. Very, very poggers, as the kids say. I say, I say as the kids say, as if I'm not, like, 18. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm an old man at heart. I'm like the 11th Doctor. The Jeeps are back. Oh, I think I've gone out of focus. Focus up, camera. Don't do this to me. Wait, Therese, is there a new image? There is! <laughs> yeah, I know it's early unit trucks, it's still exciting, you know, hype. Hype carries us through, even when, even in the dull moments. Uh, I'd swear Torchwood was broadcast in HD, yeah, on BBC iPlayer, it doesn't look HD. I think earlier seasons probably weren't, but I think maybe, like, Miracle Day and Children of Earth might be. I'm not sure. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, someone saying the Matt Smith era is brilliant on the timeline. You love to see it. I'm going to retweet that. A uh, principle, really, if nothing else. Um, am I still out of focus, by the way? Yeah, I thought I was. Hang on. All right, no, I should be in, in focus now. I've just checked. It should just take a minute. There's a bit of a lag between me and you, because, like, you guys... When's my birthday? My birthday is 12th of July. So, uh, yeah. There you go. About a month and a bit away. I think all of the unit was filmed, all of the Torchwood was filmed in HD. Oh, was it? Okay. If you look very closely in the Jeep, you can see that John Pertwee's driving it. Yes. Absolutely. Ugh. Okay, we're eight subscribers away from the 14,400. So if you haven't subscribed, do that. You can chat in stream if you do. So uh, be sure that you've subscribed because we've got more stuff coming this evening. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reckoning they are, they're like waiting until it's a bit darker to properly start. And um, like, that's why you've got like a lot of filming trucks that are getting ready to go. Um, thing is people did say it was sticks. Maybe I should have waited an hour, an extra hour, just so there wasn't too much waiting. But, you know, we've, we've got occasional bits, so. The thing is, I just kind of went off of when I was told filming was starting. Um, but then again, I suppose I got longer streams, so that's fine. I got plenty of time. I got till about, like, 11, so it's fine. It's fine. We'll just have a long one. We'll just have a nice, long, juicy stream. Don't know why it's juicy, but it is. Exciting. Justice for Handles. Man, Handles, like, death in Time of the Doctor to be more emotional to me than any scene with the new companions. <laughs> I'm not even... That's not even a joke. <laughs> like, man. And ironically, I think, I've always thought a uh, Tales of Trends lore series would slap hard, like, if they did a TV show of that. Like, if... if Doctor Who had Disney money. That would cert that would almost certainly be a thing. Why not? Nobody's seen David yet, or any cast members beyond just like unit trucks and lighting crew and stuff. But again, you know, I'd assume sooner or later that's going to be a thing that happens. We got Sony money. That is true. That is true. Uh, who's your best uh, master incarnation? Ooh, honestly, I'm not sure. Like, I, I, I don't really get the hate for John Sim, but I don't know whether I call him my favorite. Um, I think Anthony Ainley is a lot of fun. Obviously, Rod Doggard is the goat. I think I, I, I'm not sure. I kind of like a lot of them. I even like Sasha, to a certain degree. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Have you seen that David Burgess McGann intro? See, Missy for me, Missy's a great character. 
She doesn't feel overly like the master to me, though. Like, she's great, but she wouldn't be my go-to master choice. Do you know what I mean? I don't know whether I'd call Sasha Dawn the worst master. I think I, I like his performance in the role, so I, I don't know. Uh, what's the action to Road League? Basically, they're just filming there now, and that's basically what we're talking about. Like, there's just been unit trucks um, and gat lighting people, and we're basically just, like, waiting for more stuff to happen. So, um, so yeah. It's one of those streams where we're just covering the filming as it happens, kind of like what we've done for the cam and stuff. Similar similar basic premise, but just for, just for a different location. So... Uh, would you have... To one back in the shooting era, I kind of want all new for the new era. To be honest, right? I do like the master, but I kind of feel like that character needs either a, either a um, like a rest or just retirement. Like I feel like a lot of what you can do with that character has already kind of been done, in my opinion. So I wouldn't be opposed to there being a little break for the master, akin to what we got with the Matt Smith era, where there wasn't a master story for the Eleventh Doctor, you know. Like, I wouldn't be opposed to an era like that, personally. Um, we don't have Sony Money, Bad Wolf, it's, just, it's only a subsidiary and the BBC will most almost likely be fans. Yeah, true. I mean, I, I think we could have slightly higher production values because Bad Wolf are making it, and Bad Wolf, you know, they also made, like, uh, his Dark Materials, they did, and that looked really good. So I wouldn't be surprised if it did look better than what we were getting now, anyway, even though there might not be a massive budget increase. To be fair, some of Flux looks really good. Some of it looks dodgy, but that's because of COVID. But some of it looks great. Like, the one materializing shot in um, Halloween Apocalypse. That looks really nice. Like, bits like that look really nice. So... Uh, there, I just played The thing is, am I going to get copyrighted for the Doctor Who intro, though? Uh, I mean, I guess I could, you know... I could play it, but not play the sound, I guess. Um, I'll, I'll get it up. I'll get it up all the way. Might as well. I guess we reacted to that Davis video on stream once. And he responded to that. So well, he, he commented on it. Oh, I've seen... Oh, no, I've seen the one you're about, I think. I've already seen it, I think. I think you're on about this one, right? But yes, it is good, I agree. Hang on, I'll get it up anyway. Uh, yeah, so shout out to David Burgess for this epic title sequence. I've already seen it, but yeah, it's still cool. Um, yeah. So you want put it in theatre mode. There we are. You can't, I'm not going to play sound just in case the BBC are funny. Like, I'll hear it, but you guys won't. Sorry about that. It does look stunning though. Like visually it looks fantastic. It is better with the music, but I just I just don't want to run the risk of getting claimed. Man, look at that. I would love a title sequence like this that was a bit more like low key. Like you got some nice visual shots, like the sort of sunset vibe, like the dusk vibe is one that I really vibe with as well. Very good. Very, very good. Good stuff. Yep. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. Do 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 do. Ba -ba. Okay. Come on, give us some new stuff. Oh, I've had, a, I've had a notification. What's going on? Um, oh, it's Doctor Who production news. Oh, they're just retweeting the image from earlier. Damn it, I thought it was going to be something new. That makes sense, though. Did you know the Queen favourite Doctor is Christopher Eccleston? Yes, which makes the fact that he hates the Royals all the more funny. Uh, <laughs> do 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 Uh, IDK, why, but to me, Sasha the One seems less smart than uh, Sasha. 
because of their characters. I think the thing is, like, I kind of like that, like, each, ma like, with the Sim Master, he's kind of like a reflection of Ten, you know, he's kind of got with that whole God Complex thing going on. He's, uh, he's very sort of, um, erratic and sort of energetic, so I think I quite like Sim for that, you know. I think that Series 3 finale three-parter is phenomenal. Um, yeah, I might as well go over what we've got so far, might I? Um, so far, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, and, you know, variations thereupon, uh, we have... Let me get it. So we've got... We have this first image, which was taken at about midday today, which was the PKE lighting, uh, the lighting systems, um, the accent to road there you can see it's kind of looking like the noble um, the noble house uh, I'm getting closer up there you can see as well if I do this and then I do that and then I do this and then I do that uh, you've also got a shot of one of the like lighting crane things that sort out that makes sure like the lighting's all good for the scene uh, you can see that there you can see a man hovering on it you can also see let me get the other image. Uh, this one was taken at about 4 p.m. today. You can see a unit truck. Not the truck, but it's like a van. Uh, this, you can see there it's black. And then also um, we have the unit Jeeps, uh, which I will get now. Um, where was the first time I saw that? Uh, here. You can see here at the back of a unit Jeep. Uh, in the street and a, a unit truck here and you can also see um, Ignore that you can see you know a lot of the the unit trucks and jeeps ready to roll out and You can see the dead only unit definitely for Doctor Who because if you zoom ooh, Wrong page if you zoom you can see yeah, it's the unit logo. So yeah, that's what we've had so far um, See the thing is I haven't listened to the Jacoby audios yet, so I can't say that like Jacoby's the best, although he's he's phenomenal on screen in Utopia. To be fair, to be fair, I'm not a big royalist, so I'm not a big big best person to ask. Like, honest, I'm I'm really not a big like royal fan. I just I I personally find them to be a very outdated sort of thing in general. Like, and I just you know I there's a lot of reasons I don't really like the monarchy, but you know I'm not going to get into that now. Um, Um, heart, heart plus plus uh, bow tie is the next announcement. Hopefully, I hope it is. I'd love it if it was. Uh, I don't like or hate the queen. It doesn't bother me. Fair. Just wondering, but should I do something else? What, what do you mean? I mean, you can have the stream on in the background as soon as, like, anything comes along. Um, you know, you know, you guys you, you guys will hear me because I'll be like, new image. Um, so, yeah, I know a lot of people have these streams on in the background while they're chilling, doing other things, you know. Um, yeah. Up to you, really. Yeah, I'm not seeing much new yet, so... Um, we're just waiting, really. Playing War Thunder stream on second screen. <laughs> cool. Oh, I got a notification. It's from Doctor Who Production News again. Oh, yeah, actually, that is a good point. There was a Rachel Talale post from, from Wolf Studios, um, and she was by the, um, like, a crate for his dark materials. You can see that here. Uh, I should get the image up separately, but you can sort of see, you know, there's a mannequin there. You know, I'm not going to say the Autons are back, but, you know. Oh, no, not just, not his Doctor Tura, sorry, his uh, Discovery of Witches, which uh, I believe Alex Kingston is in as well. But that's cool. Uh, there's a picture of her uh, that she'd taken, rather, at Bad Wolf Studios, so that's cool. There was also another one, actually, um, that she took earlier. Let me get it. I think this was out on a Twitter. Let me grab it. 
because Rachel Talali likes to keep us informed. Um, I am kind of glad I didn't head out to the filming now because I feel like I'd have just been sat there a lot. But yeah, she posted this tweet saying, um, oop, let me get it. Uh, we don't get Jubilee Bank Holiday off, but we did partake, we did get to partake uh, in some of the Krispy Kreme Royal swag. I keep eating the Union Jack. Hashtag Doctor Who. So yeah, that's what we was filming. So yeah, hope it goes well tonight. So yeah, Darius is God. Well, you know, I didn't want to say it. You know, you guys, you, know, you might not be ready for that revelation, but. No, I can't talk to my wife. Got to watch the stream. <laughs> Can someone do that meme? If it's like, "Hey, babe, wake up! Therese is live." Disguise yourself as Wilf in the wheelchair. Yeah, I should actually. That'd be a good plan. Although I don't know whether I could convincingly pull off Bernard Cribbins. I feel like he's just too recognisable. Apparently the fake sexy from last week that David got spotted in has been spotted today. That's it. Have we got an image of that? I haven't seen it. Not saying it's not there. It could very well be there, but I haven't seen it yet. I've been looking with my beady little eyes. I'll teach you Cribbin's accent. Yeah, yeah. You'll have to teach me. Do, do, do. Yeah, we're just eight subscribers away from 14,400. If you're not subscribed, please do. You get to chat in the stream if you, you haven't subscribed already. This is my favorite Who stream. This is the one I was watching when we got the Tan and Tape reveal. Well, thank you. Thank you. Very much appreciate that. Yeah, like this is just, this is this is one of the ones. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I've lost my live stream chat. No, no. I've lost you. I can't actually see you anymore. No. Hang on. I'm going to find you again. I had the chat up and now it's gone. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Please, please. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, shoot. Ah, here we are. I'm back. I'm here. It's. Wait, hang on. We're still here? Yeah, we're good. Boom. We're still here. Russell, shut us down. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're back. I just closed the tab by accident. We're fine. I will forever associate the tenant tape with real with Darius. Oh my god. No, I've gone out of focus again. For God's sake, camera. Why do you do this? It never used to do it this bad. Maybe it's the lighting. Focus up. Focus. Use the force. Oh, okay, it's just not focusing. Hello? Okay, that's better. Yeah, it never used to go out of focus like that, so I'm kind of wondering what it is. Oh, we've got movement! We've got movement! Beep, 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 beep. The London taxi has also been spotted. I've just seen it on Twitter. Everyone, new image, new image hype, new image hype, let's go. Uh, reverse the polarit, I agree. Um, New image time. Uh, let me get it. Not much happening yet, but you can see here, basically the same gift from last time, but slightly different. You can see it here. Uh, I'm gonna retweet it and I'm gonna follow the person because they'll probably have more stuff. Not much happening yet, it's just the same shot basically. They said, I can't believe I can see the London taxi from a new angle. So yeah, that does confirm what someone was saying earlier. The London taxi has been spotted. So I would assume that this was either taking place chronologically. All right, so there's, there's possibilities here, right? So you know how in the Camden filming, uh, Tennant and Tate, towards the end, they get the TARDIS take off. I'm reckoning that might be the end of episode one, and that maybe like the Doctor's using a taxi to get around places. Maybe you get separated from the TARDIS and it lands in Camden Market or something. Um... And basically, yeah, so, like, taxis can be the mode of transport. So I'm, I'm guessing this is all part of the same episode, although some people have said that tonight's filming was episode three, so I could be wrong. Um, Tenant probably is going to be on set, yeah, so that's fun. That's fun. 
I haven't seen an image of, of the taxi yet, but they have said it's on set, so, um, you know, I don't doubt them if they said it's on set and people have said that, like, others have said it's on set and it probably is. Maybe the TARDIS is rebuilding itself. It's possible. It's not the absorber off disappointed, I know. One day. One day. Dude, dude, I can't believe we've been streaming for an hour and a half already. That's mental. Isn't the TARDIS as old as the Doctor? Pretty much, yeah, I think. One thing with the TARDIS is, is that, yeah, the TARDIS windows have came in. Apparently that's a feature the Jody TARDIS can do. Can, that can just do it. Um, apparently that's always been a thing, but it hadn't really been seen before. We did get two days of filming in Canada, so maybe the location is used for both the start and the end of the episode. Yeah, I think that's definitely possible. I think that's definitely possible. I mean, the nighttime shooting at Camden, that looked more like a, an introductory scene to the episode, right? Because you had the Doctor and Donna meeting when she's carrying the boxes. That seemed more like an introductory scene where they're meeting again for the first time. Um, so, yeah, I would say that, like, yeah, I would say you're right. I'd say they're probably there at the start and at the end of the episode, and, like, a lot of the adventure happens around there, would be my guess. I think you are right. Someone's done the meme. Someone's done the meme that I wanted. Everyone go like it. Everyone go like it right now. It's just, it's just here. It's just, hey, wake up, Thary's, hey, babe, wake up, Thary's is live. I, I love it. Get everyone go like this tweet. I want to see it get a billion likes. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> Someone did the meme I wanted, so I'm happy. Um, anything happened yet mainly just unit trucks we've also had apparent sightings of the taxi from previous episodes so that's probably going to mean tenant and perhaps taped as well so um, yeah do 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 yeah I'm just sort of waiting at the moment uh, the 13th Doctor Tower's interior is excellent uh, exterior is excellent rather so they should keep it going forward. The only thing I would say is, right, I'd agree with keeping it, but I think maybe just tweak it slightly. Like what they kind of did with the 10th Doctor Box to the 11th Doctor Box. Like, the box is been much the same, which is given it a new paint job. Just do that, just to keep it, like, looking different, but you can keep the same box, I agree. I deleted my Twitter, but consider it liked by me. Fair enough. Your parba calls, that's all that matters. The TARDIS was bigger on Trends of Lord. Yeah, I'd assume that's because, like, maybe over time, like, the whole bigger on the inside stuff, like, degrades or something, maybe? Maybe that's why it's bigger? I don't know, though. Which episode was it where the TARDIS grows exponentially? Probably that one. I'm, I mean, it shrinks in flatline. Um, that's what you're on about. Growing. Um, not sure about growing. But yeah, um, breaking Winston Churchill scene on Axminster Road. I love how people do the at me in like random photoshops when I'm doing these live streams just to like catch me off guard. It works to be fair, uh, although I should probably not endorse it, but yeah, it does work. Uh, I deleted my Twitter, not being paralyzed, but I'm sure people were following me. That's a good joke. You get that gets the fairy seal of approval. Well, congratulations. <laughs> that was good. I liked that. It grows in the name of the Doctor, I think, does it? I know that, like, it goes all funny in the name of the Doctor. I don't know if it grows. It is, it is bigger on Trends Law, you are right. But I don't think it. Like it's shown to be growing. Could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. 
That's why I thought it does it over time because of the whole bigger on the inside thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyone got any questions while we're, while we're waiting? Anyone got anything they want to add to the stream? Uh, do you want the Nikuti Doctor? To, uh, what do you want to see from the Nikuti Doctor? Fun Dark or Shooty Doctor? Why do I keep saying it like that? It's just my brain saying the wrong thing. Um, honestly, a combination of both. What time is it? It's 20 to 8. I have been streaming for about an hour and 40 minutes, which is kind of mental. Um, did it get smaller on the inside then? Possibly. Are you a Swifty? Yes. To be fair, the only thing I, I don't even know what that means, but the only thing I know Swifty from is. Um, is Rick and Morty, it's like, oh yeah, we gotta get Swifty. That, sorry. Um, <laughs> I think 13 TARDIS looks a bit too green rather than blue. Yeah, I can see that. I wouldn't mind a slight colour tweak. Yeah, I, 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 I can see that. Someone just yodeled at the top of their voice. I don't, I'm not even making that up. Someone outside just full on yodeled at the top of their voice like that. Felt like I was in one of the yoga adverts, like, I don't... <laughs> okay, let's go. You're a fan to see the old Doctor back in the 60s. I only want McGann. They wouldn't look the same. I think there's ways you could do it, like with time and time crash and all that sort of stuff. There's ways around it. Oop, Doctor Who production news has done a new thing. Oh, I was basically just saying it's legal to take photos. That's boring. We don't want to talk about legality. We want to just talk about... Yeah, someone just straight up, like one of my neighbours just yodeled. It's like... Yeah, I was like, what the hell was that? What do you think this is, X Factor? No, this is the Thary's live stream where we talk about news. And unit trucks and stuff. Did you like my yodel? Was it you, Edward? Yes, it was a very nice yodel. Can't believe I've almost been streaming for two hours, and the most we've seen is a couple of unit jeeps. And that's about it. <laughs> but, you know, I'm sure we'll see some more stuff as the evening goes on. Any potential Doctor Who cartoons? But I'd like to see a cartoon. Yeah, no, it's not illegal. Yeah, no, it's not. That's what I was saying. I was saying it was legal, technically. Oh. Maybe they've been asked to not take photos because someone who's not being announced is filming. To be fair, the last time they were asked that was because, I mean, the last time they were asked that was at the nighttime shoots, uh, if I remember correctly, and that was because, like, you got a proper look at the Sonic, uh, and people did that, you know, we still got pictures of that coming out, so, um, yeah, perhaps that's the reason, perhaps there's, like, a new element that it's in the filming that people don't want people to see, um, Maybe a new villain. Maybe we'll finally get a villain shot. Because we haven't seen any villain shots yet. So that's a possibility. Yeah, the DJ no, the degenerate thing is a yeah, is a rumour. There's like a lot of different explanations I've seen bandied about uh, as to how Tenant could come back. All of them quite interesting. I do like the trickster theory myself, but I don't think that'll happen. I'd love it though. Like, I, here's the thing, I definitely don't think it's going to be a case of him just straight up being the next incarnation, like, normally. I think there's going to be something that goes wrong, or something that causes it, or, you know, there's going to be some reasoning for it. It's not just going to be, he's the new Doctor now, deal with it. Like, there's going to be a reason for him being the new Doctor, do you know what I mean? It's not going to be, he's just there, like... Rewatched Herbert yesterday. Hope I'm not going to be massacred here, but I honestly think it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I've heard a lot of people say it's better than, uh, you know, it, it was back then. So maybe I should rewatch it. But Capaldi's probably great in it. Capaldi's great at everything, to be fair. 
I just think it's an alternate timeline where ten never regenerate. That's also possible. They could be doing the dark dimension method, yeah. That's also very much a possibility. Um, do, 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 do. I just killed a fly. Good job. 10 out of 10. Those Lunine fixed their gas suits and now they look like thin people. I mean, they already did that, actually. In Stereo Jane Adventures Series 1, I think it's the Lost Boy, they have, they can have thin suits now. They could, they could do that. So, um, yeah. There you go. The more you know. Uh, 13 degenerates into Malcolm Tucker. Yeah, possibly. Man, remember when we had the Tenant and Tate announcement on stream? That was cool. Doo -doo. Favorite Doctor Who scene? Ooh, that's hard. Again, using turn left as an example, but like, there aren't many moments in TV that make me cry, right? But the one that gets pretty close is when Wilf um, is reacting to, I forget his name, but the guy in turn left to the Italian guy who they're sharing a house with, and they're like, oh, uh, you know, they're sending us off to uh, like work camps, and it's like, that's what they said last time. When he says that's what they said last time, and you can just tell. And like, Don is not sure what he's on about, but he's just horrified. I'm just. Oh, that scene. That scene. It's like elite. Ooh, good choice. Such a sad scene. Yeah, like I said, there's not many like scenes in television that make me like genuinely like emotional, but that is one. It's just Bernard Cribbin's expressions as well, man. It's just... Oh. Brutal. Brutal. Oh. Mark Gattis, why is he playing with us like that? He knows what he's doing. What what is that? Mr. Gattis, what are you what was he doing? I know he's working on another show. So I don't think it's it's Doctor Who, but he has just randomly tweeted this. Very odd. I think he is working on a show with Bad Wolf, but it's not Doctor Who. But that's fun. I don't, yeah, that's probably not Doctor Who related, but that's cool. He knows exactly what he's implying by that. Mark Gattis, you little devil. I don't know why I called him a little devil, that was really weird. I'm not doing that again. Um, if it is Doctor Who related, that's sick. Uh, love Mark Gattis, I thought he was great in, in Twice Upon a Time. Uh, what? Doctor Doctor, I love that show. Parallel the universe, Doctor Confu- Oh god, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I, I'm not gonna like, like overdo it because it might not be, I don't think, it's pro probably not anything to do with Doctor Who. Like, but you know, that'd be fun. Yeah, it could be a, it, it, it turns into a reference, but why is there just two signs that say Doctor randomly? Like, what's the context of that? Why would he be in a place with two Doctor signs also on the same night Doctor Who's filming? I think he's probably is just messing with us. Like, yeah, he's probably just... Could he mean the Metacrap? Possibly. He probably is... Um, uh, he probably is just playing with us, but that is... Because he knows exactly what people are going to infer from stuff like that. Um...
Hang on, I've just thought of a tweet. Give me a second. Give me a second. Just doing something very quick whilst um, whilst the stream's going on. I don't know. What do you guys think of that, Mark Garrison? I think he's just winding people up, but I'd be interested to see what you guys think. What am I looking for? That's what I was looking for. Uh, whilst whilst we whilst I'm doing this, I'm just gonna go Doctor in distress. Let's all answer his SOS. Doctor in distress. Bring him back now. We won't take less. No 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 no. Um. Oh, I've not got a great image of that. Oh, well, that'll have to do, I guess. Oh, we've had a message, I think. Oh, could that mean a new new thing, perhaps? Question mark or not? Could just mean nothing. We'll see. Um, who knows? Who knows? Mark Guy says, John Pitt, we can fit. I don't watch the TV show Doctors. I don't either. Oh yeah, that's just the same thing that I've already seen. Yeah, this was the tweet I was doing. Hang on, I'll show you guys. I've just seen this from the Jubilee celebrations and I just thought, I just immediately thought of that. <laughs> and yeah, it does weirdly go, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Also, go follow me on Twitter if you don't already. I post very funny things uh, to do with Doctor Who, and you should all go and like them and boost my ego. Uh, do, 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 do. I do like the Cyberman theme, man. The Cyberman theme in the Russell era is underrated. Now we feel talking about this. Everyone talks about Dark and uh, Endless Dark Knight. And Endless Dark Knight is great, but the boom, 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 is like elite, elite, top tier stuff. Do, 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 do. What do you want to see at the new title sequence? Okay, I want the TARDIS back in it. I'm going to say that now. I want the TARDIS back. Um, I want a proper vortex. I want something a bit more fast paced as well this time. The stream is still going. It is. It is. We don't stop. No sleep. Hello from Belfast. Hello. Uh, come back. Anything exciting happened? Not really. Not much other than uh, unit trucks, uh, lighting, stuff like that. Dun, 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 dun. There is. Are you looking forward to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Full disclosure, I'm not really a big Pokemon fan. I just never really got into it. I've tried. What's going on? Uh, a lot of unit trucks, uh, lighting stuff. At the we've basically been covering the Axe Mister filming. There's also been like a, a weird, like sort of um, uh, TZ tweet from Mark Gattis with two doctor signs. Oh, we've got some more photos. Okay, yeah. Shoot them to me, Dylan. I don't know whether you can hear the stream, but shoot them to me. Dylan might be hooking us up. I got Twitter just to follow friends. I mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> but also, yeah, it can be a, a lot. Wait, is it snowing? Wait, are they doing snow? Is that... <gasps> wait, are they artificial? There's not... It's not snowing there now. So, wait. Hang on. Snow confirmed? Christmas? Wait, hang on. I'm going to show you guys. Hang on. I'm going to zoom this in and you guys can see. Some Like, some reason, gifts won't let me open out separately, but... 
Sorry. You guys can see, oh yeah, the taxi. You can see the taxi shot and the Jeep. Okay, okay, we got a new shot, new image. Everyone get hyped. You can see snow, which looks artificial. It looks to be artificial, because I don't think it's snowing in Cardiff right now, unless, unless I've got some very, very inaccurate weather outside. But you can also see, look, taxi as well. So you've got the Temp Dog taxi. This is giving more and more credit to there being a Christmas special. That's very cool. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm thinking there's definitely uh, a Christmas special. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I hope to God there's a Christmas special, man. I would be so happy. Toys in every store. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Snow, let's go. Snow. John Snow from the Hunger Games. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. Christmas 2023. Look, it's possible, all right? It's possible. They're filming in March, not March, June. What am I saying? I don't know why I said March. June. Like, they've got enough time to get an episode out for Christmas, I think. It would be a great surprise. I think that's possible. Because someone said, someone said, um, that's not snow, it's ash. Because it's an alien spaceship and they shot it down. <laughs> Love Ted. Um, snow equals ash, Sycorax. Well, that's a possibility. Um, the thing is, someone on, on um, when they were on filming at like, Camden said that one of the guys said it was Christmas special. So, like, filming a 2023 Christmas special in March of 2022 feels really, really ahead of time. So, I kind of think a 2022 Christmas special is possible. I'm going to say that now. I think a 2022 Christmas special is possible. I could be wrong. But... I do think a 2022 Christmas... It's... It's not been confirmed, but, like, a lot of the, like, credible leaks have said three specials for Tenant. And I think, like... It was basically close to being, a, like, confirmed without being confirmed. It's on my, it's, it's been DM'd to me. I don't know whether he's going to tweet it. Hopefully he will. Uh, hopefully Dylan will tweet this so that you guys can look at it. Oh, actually, they've done another tweet as well saying that the number plate on the taxi is the same one as the one that was in London. So yeah, it's definitely a continuation of that scene. Very cool stuff. I'm going to retweet that. Cool, cool. Yeah, things seem to be gearing up now. Snow, that's interesting. Yeah, exactly. That's really long-term planning, exactly. And I, I, yeah, no, I don't think it is a 2023 Christmas special. I think it's going to have to be 2022 if, if it is Christmas. Like, which is very exciting. Um, Um, yeah, the updates were just that uh, there's been some snow, and the taxi has also been spotted. Snow on Doctor Who? What the hell is this? 2008? I was actually just thinking the other day, I missed seeing the TARDIS in the snow, so we might actually see that again. That is true. It was at Christmas, but not shown at Christmas. But I, I, I do think Chris, like someone has said they were filming a Christmas special on one of the other, like, on one of the other filming times. So I still think a Christmas special is possible. I'm keeping the hope alive. I mean, if you think about it, it's not that, um, it's not that, like, out far in the realm of possibility. Because when did Parting of the Ways air? Uh, Parting of the Ways. The Ways Doctor Who. Parting of the Ways, it aired on the 18th of June, and then we had the Christmas Invasion, what, like, just under, well, just about six months after that. So, 
I mean, it would be tight, admittedly, going from October to December, it would be a tighter gap, but it's not impossible. I mean, you know, maybe I am being optimistic, but still. I'm going to hold out hope that that means a Christmas special. You know, I'm, I'm still optimistic that that could be a possibility. Well, this is the thing. I really don't think it would be for Christmas 2043. Like, it's got to be Christmas 2022. Uh, I'm thinking Christmas 2022 first, Tenant special, Easter 23 second. Yeah, that was kind of my theory as well. I'm back, kids, remember what I missed. We've seen snow on set. Here's an actual update. We've got a proper image of the... Wait, hang on, is that rain? Hang on. That looks more like rain now I'm seeing it up close. Is that rain or is that snow? Because see, in the GIF it looked like snow, right? But in the image it looks like rain, so I'm really not sure. <laughs> oh, maybe the dream's dead. Maybe the dream's dead. That does kind of look like rain. But, like, you can see, though, like, if you look at the first one, hang on. If you look at the first one here, that looks like snow. Why does it look so different? Hang on, like, that looks like snow, right? But that looks like rain. Snow, rain. Snow, rain. Then again, I suppose even in the GIF, the car is wet. But then, snow can also be wet when it, like, lands on cars. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, Cardiff is raining right now. Maybe it is just rain. But it looked a lot like snow in the GIF. So there's that. Ooh. So, uh, Liam's just told me the crew are filming somewhere else from where he is right now, so it's going to be a little while till the actors arrive. Okie dokie. Oh, is my camera gone funny again? God damn it. God damn it, camera. Focus up. Focus. Focus. Boom. All right. Mm. It's beginning to look... Oh, no. It might not be Christmas now. But, I mean, that looks like rain, but... Man, it did really look like snow in the gift. I wasn't the only one who thought that it looked like like snow, right? Do 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 do. What are you guys saying? I'm eating sausage and mashed tin hoops. Nice meal of champions. <laughs> RTD putting your um, camera out focus. Check DWSR latest again. Yeah, sure. I can check that. Latest. Yeah, raining outside. Not sure how that can affect plans. Yeah. Maybe that will negatively impact things. I'm not sure. That would be a shame if it did. New Year weather conditions. Oh, we got another super chat. Thank you to... Uh, Timeless TV for the the one year and ninety nine super chat. There's something about an old Tom potentially. Yeah, I think that was just the fact that on Rachel Talale's Instagram, there's a mannequin there in on like in one of the Bad Wolf Studios. Um, I can ask the guy if they was if it was snowing, but it looks a lot like rain to me. I can ask. I'm gonna ask again anyway. It did look a lot like snow from the GIF. I'm going to ask him. I just said that's rain, right? Um, but yeah, thank you for the super chat. Binley Mega Chippy, yes. Binley Mega Chippy is in the new episode. It did look like snow in the first shot. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it is, it's light, but there's a lot, yeah, no, it's rain, it's rain, false alarm, it's rain, it's rain, and man, hallelujah, it's... if we get a Christmas 22 special, likely it will be announced at the end of centenary, yeah, probably, 
I'm a little less confident now because it's not snow, it's rain, but, you know, I still think it's possible. I'm still keeping the hope alive. Um, it kind of feels like when you wake up on a school day. Yeah. Feeling a bit deflated after that, but you know, we'll probably still get some more, more filming stuff, so. We just gotta wait. Rainmas special. Yes. That famous holiday, Rainmas. You know, the kids lay out their, lay out their, they lay out their plastic bags for rain, rain to claws. He rains in, in, in the, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this bit, to be honest. It kind of got away from me. Uh, we're six subscribers away from 14,400 though, so if you haven't subscribed already and you're new to the stream and you've been enjoying the stream, feel free to uh, subscribe. That would be appreciated greatly. So thank you very much. Yeah, we're six subscribers away, so uh, feel free to do that. Would really help us out. You can also chat in the stream if you if you if you use super chat. So yeah, I would recommend doing that if you're new. Uh, least favorite Chris? I'm not sure. Darius, the ground kind of looked like it was white there. Yeah, the guy said it was rain, so I'm I'm more inclined to believe him because he hasn't really got a reason to lie, you know. I'm more inclined to believe the guy. It got away from me. Yeah, that was exactly what happened. It was the, the blink scene. Yeah. Oh. Man, I've been streaming for a long time. But it's fine. We put our body through it for the grind. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, streaming equals reach and super chats. That is true. That is true. That is true. Also, if you haven't super chatted and you'd like to, feel free. Um, it helps me keep awake, so, uh, and I get to answer your questions quicker because it comes up on the screen, so if there's a question you really want to ask and answer, um, and you want me to see it as quickly as possible, that's always an option. Posters on sale also said December, yeah, I'm still thinking it's going to be a Christmas special, I still think that's a possibility. Uh, what's your all-time record live stream? I think it was about eight hours with the, the record. I'm not planning on breaking that tonight. Um, probably going to be going for about well, then again, <laughs> could be going for a while yet, but. The next the next thing you're going to say is, well, I can hear you. Um, wait, do you want me to recite the entire Blink scene? Hang on. I'll get it up so that, that way, if you want to make a fan film with me as the doctor, <laughs> you can <laughs> Blink uh, Doctor Who transcript. Uh... Blink by Stephen Moffat. Just trying to get the whole transcript of, of the Doctor's lines. Oh, we've got a notification. What is it? It's a new thing from Doctor Who Production News. Okay, so Doctor Who Production News has said, yeah, Welsh crews are used to filming in rain, so it shouldn't put back plans. But that's good. Oh, thank you, Carol Jude, for becoming a, uh, a member. Very much appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for that very much. That came out of nowhere, but thank you. But yeah, they've said that it shouldn't halt plans, so that's good. That makes sense. I was going to recite the whole Blink transcript. Let me get that. Oh. Um. Uh, do 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 do. 
the Doctor. Uh, what's the first line that he says? Um, wait, where's the first? Where's the first bit? Okay, I think I might have probably missed a bit. Yep, that's me. Yes, I do. Yep, and this. Are you going to read out the whole thing? I'm a traveller. Or I was. I'm stuck in 1969. Uh, Martha. Someone's going to have to do the Martha bits. Afraid so. 38. People don't understand time. It's not what people think it is. Complicated. Very complicated. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. It got away from me, yeah. Well, I can hear you. Well, not hear you exactly, but I know everything you're going to say. Uh, look on your left. Uh, I've got a copy of, of the finished transcript. It's on my auto queue. I told you, I'm a time traveller. I got it in the future. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. It doesn't matter. Really, what matters is we can communicate. We've got bigger problems now. They've taken the blue box, haven't they? The angels have the phone box. Uh, creatures from another world. Only when you can see them. Okay, I'm not reading the rest. That'll do. But thank you. Another channel member, Therese, is growing. Yep. There once was a time when the phrase time why was didn't exist. Yes, there was. What a terrible time that was. Am I right? Am I right, gang? High five. Oh, man. Do 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 do. Uh, it's been rumoured that the, the Centenary episode will have lots of references to the BBC in it. Yeah, probably because it's for the BBC Centenary, so I wouldn't be surprised. I also, I, I hazard a guess as to that was partially the reason why you got Classic Companions as well. Because it's got to be like a celebration of like the past. Because of that element. So yeah, I could see that. Totally. Totally see that. Do, 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 do. What makes it stranger is that he mentions seeing the moon landing multiple times. Uh, there's loads of Doctor Ring around. I love the way 10 blames 11 for time I'm in front of the War Doctor. Yeah, that's funny. I love that scene. That scene's great. Oh. Man. I hope we get some more stuff soon because I am I'm flagging a bit. I was kind of hoping there was going to be a bit more by now, but there really, like, hasn't been. Uh, you know, because we're over two hours in now, so I was kind of hoping, like, you know, there's going to be some big major revelations and everyone's gonna go ah my god look at that but then i guess that's that's the the risk of doing one of these live streams you never quite know what they're going to be doing on set really so it's, it's you know it's always a risk in that regard but i enjoy doing them but um i have no idea where he picks that stuff up yeah i love that line that line's great Ugh. I mean, it gets dark at about nine o'clock ish, so if they're waiting till then, then we've only got about, what, an hour to kill? So, um, yeah. Anyone got any questions? Anything anyone wants to say, you know, before you all die? No, you're gonna be fine. Revelation Theories needs more updates. Wait, what's Revelation Theories? Oh yeah, Re oh, as in just like revelations in terms of like me needing revelations, yeah, to, to, to keep going, yeah, kinda. <laughs> uh, 
Ja, 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 det er det. Er, det, er, det er. Grab yourself a can of monsters to keep you going. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have any. Uh, I should get some for these though. They said nighttime shoot. It'll be dark soon. Have you seen Adipose's film? What Echoes End? I'm in it. I'm in it. Very briefly. I make a cameo. Did Gareth Roberts lose weight? I've not looked, and I probably won't. But yes. I have seen the Adipose fan film. I'm in it very briefly. Confused. I, I assume you're on about confused Adipose fan film. I like it when Eleven calls ten sand shoes on the wall, Dr. Grandad. Yeah, that's a good scene. Theories has a series. Genesis of the Theories. Revelation of the Theories. Remembrance of the Theories. Yeah. Some some wild stuff goes on in... Some wild stuff goes on in... Um, I, don't, I don't even know. Like... <laughs> Attack of the Theories. That's a good one. Attack of the Theories is a good one. Yeah, Confused Out of it. I was in that fan film. I, I swear I've said this before on stream, but yeah, I was in it very briefly as an extra. And I was also the Dalek voice in, not his most recent one, in Ring of Destruction. So, fun fact. I'm just an extra who like looks up at like an alien, I think. Or like a portal, I think. Something like that. Something like that. Can't wait to read with the fairies. Yeah. For some reason, you know, I just was in a random warehouse like Ikea. And it was just, it was really, it was, it's quite weird. I just kept having to, like, reliving the same Ikea shopping experience. It was very odd. Uh, I'm on Max Spencer Road right now, but I can't see any action. Do you know whereabouts it is? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, apparently they're filming somewhere else at the moment, so it might be a while till cast come along, but that was 15 minutes ago, so uh, we'll see. The thing is, I bet you, the thing is, the problem with these streams is whenever I disconnect the stream, right, they'll like, oh, David Tennant's on set, Catherine Tate's on set. It's always whenever I finish streaming. So I'm going to try and like stream for as long as I can. Destiny of the Therries? Yeah, when I fight them at Valens, that's a, that's a fun one. Yeah, it's literally always what happens whenever I like do one of these streams. As soon as I like leave, they just start like popping out and it's like, oh, thanks guys. Maybe they know. Maybe that's what it is. What is your most favourite... Uh, and disappointing action figure. Uh, most disappointing? I mean, the 13th Dr. Tardis is down there simply for the fact no interior card, no lights. That's disappointing. Favorite? Maybe the 12th Dr. Flight Control Tardis, the Unearthly Thary. Yes. That was my first episode. I was found in a junkyard. That's, that's how it all began. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I've not really seen much else yet, uh, but we're just waiting. Now that uh, Doctor Who's Black Alexa will James Bond will also follow the stream. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to him. You know, I, I it doesn't bother me. Like, I think Idris Elba would be a great Bond personally. I know he gets fancast like all the time, but I do think he would be good. Like genuinely. Can't forget the amazing episode 11 Therries. Yeah. At one time I, I made out with a paving slab. It was, um, that was interesting. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know, it's quite chill when people aren't in here as much. I, feel, I don't feel the need to be as, as, as high energy. But then again, like I kind of want more people in. because. But then again, you know, I kind of knew people were going to drop off when... Uh, you know, there wasn't as much filming stuff. Okay, so there's a new update from Loki Bluebird, who's also on set, and it says, um, uh, Cardiff in June is to be expected, nothing happening at the moment, trucks down one end, a few prop cars littered about, and the ta London taxi outside the house they are using. Okay, interesting, interesting. Cool. That does imply to me that the actors are definitely going to be on set. 
I don't feel like we're going to be waiting much longer. I feel like if we wait till like 9, we're probably going to start seeing some stuff. Yeah, Eleven Theory is great. You could say you were destined to cross paths. Oh. Um, yeah, no, I've always thought, to be fair, like, Elton is literally just me. He just sits in his room talking about the Doctor. He's a blonde guy who, who you know, lives with, like, a, like a mum and dances around. It's just me. It's just what I do. He's just like me, for real. <laughs> the leak was a huge leak. Uh, the, the rain was a huge leak from the heavens. That was definitely a Thary's alert, yes. The rain was my doing. I'm actually a god. It's just how it happened. You know, I, I can't stop it. It's just how it is. Anyone got any nice plans? For uh, for the weekend, anyone doing anything nice? The rain was actually cyber pollen. Yes, it was. Maybe. Maybe. Do 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 do. Can't believe I've been streaming for like two and a half hours. That's mental. Will the sixty years be in cinemas? I hope so. I missed the opportunity to do it in the. Uh, uh the 50th so um yeah i hope that they do the six oh someone said they got a level revision man i didn't finish a levels like i'm gonna be real with you like i was in year 13 last year and covid just kind of messed me up to be honest um so yeah i feel the pain i was on my last year although with year 12 i didn't have to do any exams so yeah, I'd rather they drop the 3D gimmick, though, if I'm honest. I've never been a big 3D fan. I find it more distracting than anything else. The wiki that wrote about you got updated. Yeah, I think we've been trying to update it last time I had a stream. Has it been updated again since? Has it been updated again? Oh yeah, no, I saw he got blocked by RTD2022 for NDMing David Tennant, especially Shooty Gatwa. And I'm and I'm NMDing David Tennant. I mean, I didn't NMD them. I, I love both choices in different ways. So yeah. Yeah, I, that was, I, I think that changed. <laughs> yeah, camping with kids and wife. Never get, mar never get married. Beef. To your first love, uh, uh, young young B likes uh, <laughs> Doctor and run you bad boy. Well, I'll bear that in mind. I will bear that in mind. Thank you. Uh, not a fan of the discrimination against three. Look, it's nothing personal. I just don't vibe with it. Rainbow in Cardiff right now. Oh wow, double rainbow. Do 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 do. I don't know why the Wii Sports themes come to my head. But it has, and you guys are going to have to deal with it. See you all in five years when Stephen Too Fat is announced. Yes, yeah, true. Now, yeah, I, I, it wasn't like properly. Like basically, it was just um, at the time he was saying, "I'm going to block people who said uh, like yeah, like this post if this person's coming back." He said he's going to start blocking those people. I didn't know that. I sent one of those posts, and I got blocked. But I my Instagram post my Instagram account got changed anyway, so I'm, I'm we're good now. Me and Russell we're on fine terms. Trust me, we're fine. We made up. It's fine. I haven't yet. Is it out? Is it any good? Because I I have a lot of nostalgia for the first Wii Sports, so if it's good, I might get it. Thing is though, like who would I play it with? Is the thing. Like, because when you're a kid, it's the whole family doing it. Whereas I feel like me doing it on my own would just be quite sad. 
reviews I've seen seem good. When does it come out? Do we know? When did it? it was it May? It might have been May. Maybe that's why. Do 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 do. I think it's just like a joke on the basis that I don't like Jody. I think I don't think it was a personal joke. I think it was just a, a joke. You know. Top three Wii games. I feel like Wii Sports has to be up there. Mario Kart Wii, Epic. Um, maybe like Mario Galaxy as well would be the three probably. Yeah, probably that. Probably that would be my list. But because of droves of 3D skeptics, they might not do much 3D content anymore. Much to the express, much to the expense of those who appreciate, it, such as myself. Hey, like if you appreciate 3D, that's fine. I, you know, it's just Doctor Who VR would be even cooler. That's true. I mean, there is VR. Twilight Princess is the nuts. Yeah, I have played bits of Twilight Princess by emulators, and it is very good. I'm a big Zelda fan, to be fair. You know, I played a lot of the the ocarina the, the ocarina of time. 3D port on the 3DS. That was good. Um, plus, like, like a lot of the N64 stuff from, you know. But yeah, I'm 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 really hyped for Breath of the Wild too. But it's just taken forever to come out. So, Russell Two Davis. Yeah, I hope some of them get shown in a theater. That'd be cool. Yeah, it can't be that long until it gets dark, so. Yeah, it's about, so it's about 20 past nine, so we've got about, about an hour. About an hour until it gets properly dark, and then We should start seeing stuff. Tenant hasn't aged. I don't know. I feel like he has aged a little bit, but he's aged very gracefully. I've played more Star Wars games, and the Star Wars games are quite good. I've been quite enjoying. Um, well, I said quite enjoying. I kind of got stuck on a bit, but uh, what's the latest Jedi one? Is it Fallen Order? That was quite good. Same. Zelda is my favorite Nintendo franchise. Every wallet I've ever owned is a Zelda wallet. Very cool. It's probably my favorite Nintendo franchise as well, to be honest. Fun fact, I played it on the Wii U first, and then I got a Switch later on, so that's a fun fact. Uh, Breath of the Wild, I mean. Yeah. Camera just went out of focus then for a second, so I'm just sorting that out. It never used to do it that much. If given the chance, who would you like to regenerate into? Anyone else? <laughs> no. Um, I mean, probably someone strong. Like, I would want the polar opposite of what I am now, right? So, because that's the whole gimmick of regeneration, so like... If, if now I because like your personality largely remains the same like there's a couple of uh, differences so I'd largely say like um, I guess I don't know I probably want something someone a bit stronger you know physically uh, probably a bit more physically attract I don't know <laughs> All men should age like David Tennant. True. Paul McGann ages even better, I would argue. That man hasn't changed since like 2013. It's actually it's actually ridiculous. In fact, he kind of looks younger in 2013 than he did in like... Uh, Harry's regenerated to the rock. Yeah. That's basically what I want. <laughs> it's basically if I regenerate, I want to regenerate to like the rock. Basically, that would be that would be the dream. Someone tall and muscular and successful. Basically, the opposite of what I am now. That's the goal. Ugh. Imagine if like I started at one of these streams one day and I was just the rock. How do you feel about that? I know I'd feel a bit scripted strange about that. You know, I'd be like, wow, I'm the rock now. It's weird. Um, 
Darius regenerates into the confused adipose? Never. I would refuse to regenerate at that point. Out of principle, more than anything else. Uh, do you think regeneration can heal these abilities? I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe. Because it does heal injury when the doctor, like... When a doctor starts regenerating and they're injured, like, you know, it does heal that. So I'm not sure. But I'm not sure to the extent that that goes. Because there is that scene in End of Time Part 1, isn't there, where he rubs his face and then all the, the scars go away. Apparently the only thing you can't get from regeneration is ginger, that's true. I kind of, like, like a lot of people say I'll still not ginger. It's like, I personally don't want the Doctor to be ginger, only because, right, I want that joke to be maintained. The only way I would want it to be done if they were to make the Doctor Ginger right is that the Doctor regenerates into a ginger and then they're just like, oh, I'm finally a ginger. Man, I'm not a fan. Like, that's the only way they could do it for me, where it would be funny. Like, other than that, I don't know whether I want them to, to do it just because the joke would be ruined, you know? Oh, so the, you want about the Watcher? The Watcher, like... The Watcher's kind of got, like, various different origins, but the most commonly accepted thing is the Watcher's, like, sort of a projection of, the like, the Doctor's future self that merges with them to, to, to finish the regeneration. It's kind of weird. Um, but that's kind of the best. I took the interpretation I take for it, I guess. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
partner in his series. Yeah, that maybe that's it. Maybe there's a meta crisis. I don't know. You decide. Um, I should really learn how to navigate Discord. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what, I guess I could send the Discord now, because you guys all seem chill. Um, I guess it gives us something to do in the meantime. While we're waiting, so um, might as well spam it. Uh, yeah, copy. See if you can join this link. <laughs> Boom, there we go. If you want to join the Discord, there it is. Do, 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 do. Yep, just singing the Wii theme again. Darius, are there any features from Series 13 leaks that you actually like to see in the actual series? Good question. I've got to try and remember the leaks now. Um, good question. I did always think, because there was a rumor that went around about like there being a body swap episode with the Doctor and the Master, and I always thought that would be a cool episode. So yeah, maybe that. I'll be disappointed as I, I uh, was when How the Duck Balls in Infinity War, as I will be if Paul began so in the 60th. Believe me, that's a lot of disappointment. I would like to see him because, like, I honestly, it still baffles me that he wasn't in the 50th. I think it was the BBC who uh, wouldn't want were against that, I think. But yeah, really should have been there, to be honest. Yeah. Hi, Darius and chat. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well, Cliff. I hope you're doing well. We're just waiting for more stuff. I mean, it's almost nine now, so it's probably going to be dark soon. So there's probably going to be more stuff going on soon. So yeah, keep tuned. Larry's nice selfie. Wait, where was the selfie? Kiss of the Failed Death is it's amazing. I love Kiss of the Failed Death. Larry, would you cut your hand before regeneration just to keep you fixed? Nah, man. I feel like... I'm the sort of person who would like be really hyped when I regenerate to see what I like turned into. I wouldn't be one of these people who's like, no, I don't want to change. I'd be like, yeah, you know, I'll be different this time. Cool. Why does my dis? Why does my? Oh no! Stop pinging me, Instagram. I'm busy. Oh, someone just started following me. I think it was from chat, so thank you. But uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, do do. Boom. Do 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 do. Oh, the Discord invite pick. Yeah, that was that's been there for a while. What if you regenerate and end up looking like Eugene? I don't know who Eugene is from BTT. I'm assuming Britain's Got Talent, but I'm not sure who from Britain's Got Talent that is. So um, I'm just going to assume I knew. There he's regenerated into a Giga Chad. You say that like I'm not already. No, I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm the peak of masculinity right here. Okay, so Liam's leaving now. Liam's leaving uh, the set. Yeah, I'm kind of glad they didn't go because there probably wasn't a lot there. Uh, I'm just going to ask him if they set a time. Because if they say, like, oh, they're not getting it until, like, two, I'm probably going to have to be like, well... Probably the dream's probably gonna have to die. Uh, would you like uh, Thary's if you were to generate? Would you like to stay male or become female? I'll try anything once, you know. Uh, what doctors do you think are likely to come back? Honestly, I feel like ten is just the main one. Like I, I don't I. Like, I, I'd love Cammy. I think if we're talking about other ones that are, like, possible, I think Smith, um, I think Paul would be 
kind of a likely one as well. Um, and maybe Capaldi, because of maybe like the fact that Rage Talal is there might might convince him. But yeah. Yeah, but stuff's about to get started. That's exactly the thing. I don't want to leave, but at the same time, they're not like filming with people till like two. the interview of McGowan on Cold Box? I didn't. I didn't see that. Should we have a look? We'll have a look. Hang on, let me get it. Can someone link it to me? Someone send me a link and I'll, I'll give it a read. I will read it for you. Ugh. Oh my god, why is Jean calling me? Hang on. Jean's calling me. Hello? I'm live. I know you're live. I'm watching the live stream. Why did you, why did you call while I was live? I thought it would be funny. Well, well you thought right now. <laughs> Hi, wait, is that strange folk in the background? God damn it. The delay is horrible. Well, it's your fault. I just thought it would be funny to see you streaming and then hear your phone ring. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, bye. <laughs> No, it's Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc Harry from the podcast. He just called me midstream. I apologise for that. Very rude. Okay, they didn't give him a time. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I just hope that they don't, like, wait until, like, 2 a.m. I mean, I'm still vaguely hopeful for, like, I don't know, like, 9, but, you know. I, I don't know. No, I'm talking about Jean-Luc from the podcast. There he is. He's there. Sounds like David Tennant. He does not. Don't tell him that. He already dresses like David Tennant. You know, you don't want to you make it real in his head. Because <laughs> then he'll start believing you. He'll start believing he is David Tennant. Sean, I'll keep you on call if you donate, like, £50. By the way, you, you owe me £50, by the way. If you're still here. Okay, so people are saying... Okay, he's saying... I'm guessing as it's a night shoot, maybe tannish. Okay, we've still got we've still got time. Why isn't Jean a mod? Because he doesn't deserve it. That's why. He doesn't deserve. Yeah, you swear you were just talking tannish. I promise I wasn't. If I was, I'd probably be a lot more excited, but it's just Jean Luke Harry. He does look Yeah, he does a bit, doesn't he? Leaks, yes. Yeah, I'm kind of still remaining, like, hopeful that, like, once it gets dark, they're going to start filming some more stuff. Because it's, like, going to be dark in, like, what? Like, half hour? So. The machine just went off back there. I'm hoping for a Five-ish Doctor sequel. That would be sick. I want a Five-ish Doctor sequel. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want the Five-ish Doctor sequel. 100%. Is this happening again? Another Dark 2 set report? Yeah, this is basically what this is. This is one of those set report streams. Uh, I can double check the hashtag. Just see if there's anything new. Uh, yeah, I'm imagining it's probably not going to be loads until like it gets probably dark. Mm. 
It's sort like of beeping again. It's fun. Just took the dog out, does buzzer it. No, nothing major, really. Still streaming, we're still going. I'm gonna be going until I'm, I'm, I'm committing myself to seeing people now at this point. Like at this point, I've been streaming long enough. I'm gonna be streaming until we actually see people arrive. Might not see much more than that, but we're gonna be, I'm gonna be streaming for as long as I can. Yeah, I shared my birthday, it was the 12th of July. I mean, I don't know what would happen if I didn't, if I, if I did, like, people are gonna like, I don't know, have like rituals on my birthday, like what, what would be the, I'm, I'm thinking more like 11 p.m. or like just as long as I can go for really. Um, 11 p.m. is gonna be the goal, I think. So we got a while to go yet, but you know, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We're six subscribers away from 14,400 and I'd like to get there. Uh, so yeah, everyone does the Aegon bombs in unison for Darius' birthday. Yes, I I I approve, approve of that, approve of that message. You know, it just becomes a national holiday. Do 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 do. So Starius and Jules drink an alcohol occasionally. I'm not like a heavy drinker, but occasionally. I take a national holiday, don't care whose birthday it is. Yeah, I'm gonna make it a national holiday. He's jinxed it. Now people won't arrive till the early hours of the morning. Yeah, probably. That would be my luck, wouldn't it? I haven't started Heart Stop yet. I need to. It's on the list. Along with a million other things, but yeah. Um, yeah, I probably jinxed it now. They're probably not going to arrive till like two in the morning. Look, as long as someone someone comes along by about you know ten, we'll probably see some stuff at least. And anything that I don't cover in the stream, I'll cover in like a shorter video tomorrow. Um, so yeah, new announcement, Pope Francis to be the Doctor's new companion, yes, that would be quite a shake up to the formula, I think we can all agree. Yeah, I was kind of thinking there's going to be more stuff. If you met Chris Chibnall, what would be the one question you would ask? Why? No. <laughs> um, the question I'd ask would probably just be like, honestly, just like what his like. I don't know really. Like, what is my goal for the series? Well, I think would be my biggest question. You should do a sonic salute on your birthday. <laughs> yes. And Neil Patrick Harris's companion. I mean, I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean that'd be cool. I mean, imagine he'd be too big. Although. He was on It's a Sin, which was Russell Lee Davis, so. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. I'll tell you what, where's Cameron Jefferson when you need him? He just occasionally drop like random 50 pound super chats. That keeps me awake. <laughs> Nearly carries to play the president of the world after they, after they re-elected the doctor. Yes. You know, I, I'm planning on conquering the world one day. It's, it's one of my plans. You know, first it's it's take charge of Doctor Who and then the world. That's that's the game plan. And we're getting there, slowly. Present in the world was, was a, a stupid plot line. Yeah, kind of. I'd still, you know, present the world. Yeah, you know, it's not the only thing that keeps my attention. It's just, you know, it just helps. No, um, no, I don't mind, honestly. It's just it's just weird how Cameron, he's a legend, he'll just drop in, give me like 50 quid and then leave. It's really weird. It's a really weird thing. 
Really hope it starts soon, halfway through my donuts, yeah. Hopefully we'll get some stuff soon. I mean, it's 9pm almost, so... You'd think when it got dark was when they probably start. If it was a night shoot. Why would you be so hyped of regeneration's painful process? It's painful, but it's exciting, isn't it? Cameron does just show up randomly and then go, yeah, he does. Wait, someone's saying 9pm start. Is that confirmed or is that just guess? Is that confirmed or guess? I think this stream's probably going to end up being like five hours long. Take that, Jay. No, to be fair, that's still like a lot easier than making a five hour long. Ooh, we've got new filming, I think. It's very small, but it's very, very brief, but just a shot. Um, I'm going to follow this person because they're on the set and they might be able to give me more information. Um, you can see this very, very brief scene of just some cars. It, that does still look like snow, oddly. It's rain, but it does look like snow. Maybe it's just the way the phones like process it. But yeah, you'd see the roads closed. You can see the, the black van, the black unit van again. Um, yeah, so stuff is still going on. I would assume it's got to be getting close now, I think. Julie Gardner on set. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? Is that is that true, or are you just BSing? You BSing? I've not seen that, so I doubt that she is. Although I could have missed it. Oh, someone's already finished their donuts. I love how you all just watch eat donuts while watching the stream. To be fair, that's what I do. So you know what? We're all we're not so different, you and I. Money, 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 boom, boom. It's a rich man's world. Yeah, I don't think it's that. Yeah, my heart made you look. I thought, yeah, I had a feeling you would be asking. You didn't fool me. Not entirely. Parsons is the supreme, supreme place to get donuts. I quite like, you know, like, you know when you get like Tesco cookies in like the, the, like the, you know, it, like not like the big Tesco's, but when you go in like a little Tesco's, that's like one of like the, the petrol station Tesco's and then you've got like the like, cookies there. They're cool. Come over and I'll give you donuts. That is an incentive. Channel Pup spotted on set. No, you, you were talking about Sonic Frontiers earlier. That new Sonic game. Which I I have mixed feelings about. Some of it looks cool. Some of it looks a bit... Mm, so, yeah. I'm kind of mixed. But I'll probably still play it. Oh, After 8's are elite. And it is After 8, so you are allowed. It is permitted. By the rules. Channel Pup's designing a new monster for the 60th. I mean, that would be kind of fitting. You know, you did design the Absorbable Life after all. John Cena pictures on set. It's always after eight somewhere. That's a good way of looking at it. True. Very true. I always used to have them. There was like an Indian that used to be by me. It's closed down now, but I think they're opening up a new one. And um, after you'd eaten food, they'd always bring around after eight. So I just thought it was always a nice little touch, you know? Johnny, Jammy Dobbins and Custard Cruise. Both, are, both of them are great, to be fair. Bourbons are also elite. I'm also a big chocolate digestive fan. You know what? I just like anything sweet in general, to be honest. I've got a big sweet tooth. Like, mega sweet tooth. Oh. Oof. Do, 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 do. What happened to that guy saying that, um... Yeah, they were filming at nine. Would that ever confirmed? Were they just guessing? I eat a lot of Kipling cakes. Kipling cakes are elite, to be fair. 
The little, the little pink ones. Elite, elite cake. One of Britain's finest inventions, along with I don't know the pot noodle. <laughs> I don't really know. Is the pot noodle a Brit? I, I just assume it is, because I don't really see them anywhere else. That guy didn't respond. Yeah, I didn't think he did. I, did. I thought I was looking for it, but I think I. Yeah, I don't think I missed it. Oh, so oh no, I have a mate of mine who has family on the nearby street. He said they were told it would be nine p.m. just after midnight. Okay, well we got a few minutes then. <laughs> okay, I've been re-energized. I've got re-energized. Let's go. Let's go. You know, whenever I hear like new filming news, it's just like you know that bit in Dalek where it's just like. Where Rose touches the Dalek with the time energy and it's just like re energize extrapolation It's just that. It's just that. That's me. Whatever this news. It's like, yay! I've got something. The stream wasn't useless. So much as you said it starts at nine and they've told what's it. Yeah, I, I I yeah, I just saw Yeah, I think the chat's slightly behind me. Like what I mean by that is, like, I'm... What you guys are seeing and what I'm seeing is, like, I'm ahead of you guys, technically. How tall are you if you stand up? About 5'5". Five five. Um, I'm quite short. <laughs> I am quite short. Not as short as Channel Pup, though. Channel Pup's only 5'3". There is, I wouldn't trust them if they have that, if they have down in their name. Could be evil. True. I don't think that guy did though. There was that was Thomas Dixon who said that, so I trust them. To be fair, I can no no I can stand up like that's how I transfer. So it's not a it's not a it's not a horrible question. Like it does it can happen. Um, it's just not something that you know happens like can happen like you know I don't have a great deal of, of ability in that area. Yep, channel puts five foot three. You heard it here first. He's five foot three, which makes me feel a bit better about it to be honest. Not that it really matters if you sat down, though, I suppose. 5'11", nice. Obviously, it's probably not going to, you know, start, like, exactly on 9. But, um, yeah, 9, at least we've got some indication that, you know, we're not going to be waiting much longer. Your streams will never be useless. Oh, well, thank you. It's just that, you know, I, I, was, I was kind of hoping that, like, you know, there was going to be a bit more for the first three hours of the stream. But, you know, we got more stuff coming now, so there's that. Uh, got my mate's cousin glued to his mum's bedroom window, so they aren't finished setting up. Okay, cool. Yeah, keep getting him to report to us, Thomas Dixon. We've got our people on the field. There is what you do is inspiring people, inspiring to people. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot. Now, Maryland cookies are elite. I will not take the Maryland cookie slander in the timeline, not in the in the chat. I'm too used to Twitter speak. Five eight. Good, good. Feel we need uh, for one stream. There is as Dalek and Jay as the Doctor. What just recreate the scene in Dalek where they're like, "You would make a good Dalek." That that whole thing. We could do. Uh do 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 We're so close We're so close everyone Do 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 Yeah I'm not seeing anything new yet. RTD was on the street earlier today. That's what he said just before the army truck turned out. Ooh, that's an exclusive to the chat. Apparently RTD was on set. That's cool. He was on the set at Camden, so that makes sense. That checks out. That checks out. Checks out very much. Dun, dun. Uh, why did you only get a cameo at the Confused Outpost Band film? Uh, did you not want the starring role? 
Uh, I mean, like, I, the thing is, he films a lot in Coventry. That's where he's, like, based and that. And I'm in Cardiff, so it's probably more because of a logistical thing than anything else. Uh, I mean, not necessarily some showrunners don't go to every shoot, but he uh, he has been at the recent ones, so, um, yeah. Yeah, no, Adam became like a villain in the comics, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Oh yeah, also, we're three subscribers away from 14,400. If you want to subscribe, it means you can chat in the chat. You know the drill by now. Uh, subscribe, please. I've been live for so long, and all I ask is a little subscription if you haven't already. I'd be very grateful. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, thank you to Cliff's Random Silliness for the the six ninety nine Canadian dollars. Thank you very much, Cliff. Very much appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a villain in, in one storyline. How did you build up your fan base? How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing it since about, like, around when Jody started. How did I build it up? I don't know, really. You just sort of... It sounds silly, but I guess you just kind of... Um, Uh, oh god, no. We've got one of the bots. No. No. <laughs> Hide this user. Bam, they're gone. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't remember what the exact storyline was, but I know he was a villain. Um, on Axe Mr. Rude. Charles Baldwin. Well, yeah, the reason I sort of started the, sh the, uh, the channel was, you know, I wanted somewhere to talk about Doctor Who and, like, sort of vent about stuff I didn't like and stuff. So, yeah, that was kind of how it started, and it just grew from there, really. Just here, is anything happened? Apparently, they're filming around now. Like, they're probably going to start, like, with people and stuff. I've not seen anything proper yet, but hopefully soon. I mean, it gets dark in about 20 minutes, so... Um, yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you, Darius. No worries. No worries. We've also had some shots of, like, unit jeeps and lighting and stuff, but nothing too major. I deem the Chibnall era worse than Moffat's by quite a significant margin like Moffat has like like a lot more high points to me and a lot you know he, he's just like he does have his off days but when Moffat hits he really hits man yeah I was like this Darius guy is awesome well thank you you got recommended it by Jay's video yeah that makes sense yeah I, I've done a few videos with Jay we'll have to do another one I know that I am I've done a lot of videos on Jay's second channel Jay Empress of Milk where we discuss various different things like Doctor costumes, TARDIS interiors, that sort of thing. So if that's prerogative, go check that. Uh, why, uh, what do you think of Series 6? Underrated. Underrated. Underrated, in my opinion. Uh, that's what I'm going to say about that. Um. Wow, someone's just done Art of 12 and Clara in the Humorville, and it kind of looks sick. Hang on, I just want to show this off. This looks so neat. Look at this. I love that. That looks so cool. That looks sick. They've turned on a light, apparently. Let's go. Can we get some hype in chat for light? Everyone just starts spamming light in chat. Is RTD a vampire then since filming doesn't start till after time? It may be. Fil unit soldier on set but no filming as yet. Thomas, can you send me a DM of it? Um if you if you get me on Twitter, it's at TheriesYT. Um It's at TheriesYT. 
Let there be light. I love lamp. Needs light. Yes. Yeah, is there any time you could DM me, Thomas? That'd be the picture. Uh, I hope one day we get big finish Capaldi's. I think it's inevitable. What's the location of this? Uh, you might want to talk to Thomas because apparently it's like right outside his house. So it is on. It is on Axminster Road because I've seen pictures of filming there. So it's definitely there. Definitely is stuff going on there. Okay, we're two subscribers away from 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 uh, what. Uh, 14,400 so if some of you haven't subscribed if you're new and you're just joining now because more filming stuff seems to be happening subscribe please uh, you can chat in the chat oh, oh it's my friend's cousin's house I'm getting the intro through my mate okay cool 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 yeah sorry I don't want to get it wrong um, okay yeah so you can't yeah that makes sense if you get some picture let me know because I'd, I'd love to see the pictures but yeah. Do, 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 do. I'll see if I can get him to get a pick. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. And I can show it on stream. Capaldi did say he wouldn't come back, but he like so did Ackleston to be fair, and, and Capaldi is a big fan, so I still see it as a possibility. You think Doctor Who wants a wonder in Liverpool? I think it looks great. I'd love to do it. It's just that Liverpool's a bit out of the way. Um I would like to do it at some point, though. Um, but yes, very good stuff. Oh, look, we did it. 14,400. Thank you. Thank you all. Hopefully, YouTube updates to show it, because sometimes it doesn't. It'll, like, it'll like keep me weirdly on, like... Like 14,300 when it's already gone over to 14,400. Um, well, I think Big Finish coming back is more likely though because it's like it's not physical, you know? It's like just speaking. So that's like a lot less intensive than like having to do the physical stuff, I guess. Yeah, so thank you for 14,400. Hopefully we'll get to 15,000 soon. That's the next goal. I think I'd like to see if we can get to 20,000 by the end of the year. I think that's possible. I think that's possible. I think we could do that. Capaldi's 50% at best. I don't know. I think he's, he's more likely than some others. My, my, you might go to guy for cutting edge information. Regards from the Pandorica restaurant in Beacon NY. Very cool. Thank you. How dark is it looking now? Is it looking pretty dark? Yeah, yeah, Talale coming back, you know, we know that Capaldi loved working with Talale, so I do think that makes it slightly more likely. I agree. I agree with that. You're welcome, thank you, no problem. <laughs> Getting dark and Cardiff. Thank you, Jerry and the Meerkat, for the three pound super chat. Woo! Thank you for the thumbs up on the on the on the super chat. That's a, I like the little moving ones, they're cool. Let's go. Oh, I feel like I've been live streaming for so long. Ugh. They don't have that in the mouse. What was I just having? Oh, the Star Wars, yeah. That's true. There's no good things about Leeds. I don't know, people... It just randomly kept getting mentioned by a bot in one of these live streams, and I don't know why, and it's just sort of become a meme in the live, in the live chat now. 
Let's talk about Leeds. I don't know why. Yeah, the mouse is pretty ruthless with copyright, to be fair. So I probably should be careful. <laughs> Uh, see the thing is my curtains are closed and that's an awkward like, place for me to try and get back up to them so it's hard for me to see what like the light is because I've got specific lighting conditions for this these streams uh, it's, it's on nothing basically just um, we're just waiting on proper like filming stuff we've had like a couple jeeps uh, ooh, ooh new stuff we've got a better look at the taxi new stuff this is coming from Callum at Tall Chwood. Uh, you got a new shot of the taxi and the, the unit truck. Actually, getting a closer look at that unit truck, it looks like, you know the one, oh, actually I could be wrong, kind of reminded me of what the uh, the Martha Jones's family were put into, but I think that was just a bigger like police van. So I could be like, I think I'm wrong there, but still, cool. And then there's this one. Yeah, you can see crew are definitely getting ready here. So um, yeah, that's cool. At least we got some new stuff. Oh, not again. No. No, not again. Wait, Atomize, you're, you're, a, you're a moderator. Help me. I thought making it subscriber only would, would, would stop this, but it, it doesn't really. That's annoying. I, I might have to turn slow-mo back on if they keep coming back. Yeah, it was a police van. I thought it was. Like, yeah, I was wrong. Dun, 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 dun. It's because you turn slow mode off. Yeah, if it if it if it starts happening again, I'll turn slow mode back on. Dun, do, 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 to be fair, we we made a joke about the mouse going after me for for having stuff. To be fair, the BBC can be quite ruthless when it comes to music copyright. So that. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, not a, why, why is it called We Are Evolving? It's like the... It, it, I look away from the screen for a minute, yeah. The bots just keep... The bots subscribe to you, it looks like it. Yeah, that must be what they're doing. But like, they're subscribing waiting five minutes just so they can spam. It's just like, why? Yeah, if it starts again, I'm just going to have to... I don't know who John is. I've got no idea. Still better than CBS and Paramount. Bring legal, uh, bring legal, it all fun. Project's true. Thank you, Queens, for the £2 super chat and the, the weird little shy emoji. Thank you. Thank you very much for the super bad suit chat. Uh, Master with Harry, some people just want to see the world burn true. What's happening? I just got here. Uh, just sort of waiting for more stuff. There's been a couple of filming, like little pictures, uh, but it's looking like things are properly gearing up now. So, uh, yeah. Ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam. Somebody once told me the word Ruby. I yet the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Right, the best Doctor Who channel on YouTube. Thank you. To be fair, I've got to have some level of dedication just for the fact that I've sat here for like, what, nearly four hours just waiting for stuff and like bringing it to you whenever it happens. Sing it, Therese. <laughs> yeah, no more, that, that's your lot. Do Therese karaoke live stream. Oh, that's stuck in my head now. Is there anything new? Not seeing much more yet. 
Yeah, I think when it properly gets dark, which shouldn't be much longer, then we'll start seeing some pro like proper big stuff. We've already started seeing a bit more stuff, to be fair. Like, we've started seeing closer looks at things, so... It's only a matter of time. Harry, sing along. Well, he has strung Doctor and Strath on the screen before. Yes, Darius is number one in my book. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, man. Sticked. Leeds have just gotten the mullet haircut phase. <laughs> yeah, it's always a matter of time, that's true. Time will tell, it always does. Barry's confirmed for Shrek 5. I would love to be in Shrek 5. Unironically, like, put me in Shrek 5. I want to be in Shrek 5. Barry's karaoke stream for 15k subs. I'll tell you what. Okay, I'll have to have, like, a donation goal for, like, okay. Um, okay, I don't know. No one would ever do this. Someone donates, like, £100. The next stream will be a karaoke stream. I'm going to regret saying that. Someone's going to do it. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to make a whole stream about singing, so. You would have been my number one, but I've been following Mr. Tardis for 12 years. You know what? Fair enough. You know, but he's old. You know, I'm fresh. I'm a fresh boy. Fresh chip off the block. I don't know. In the shape of an out on my forehead. Some rich book will quick donate. No, no, one person. One person's got to do it. No, I like Mr. Tardis. We like Mr. Tardis. We are, obviously, I don't agree with him on everything, but, you know, that's just humans, isn't it? Beware of the YouTube bots that mass against you and their master. Do the karaoke stream and you'll be the number one doctor YouTuber. Ah, I see you're using reverse psychology. Maybe. Yeah, I've, I've not heard great things about Shrek the Musical, to be honest. I don't mind Mr. Tardis. I like Mr. Tardis quite a bit. I didn't know so many. Of my, I, I didn't know how I had an anti Mr. Tarly's audience, but that's fair enough. Not everyone can be for everyone, I guess. Breaking news: A cat on the wall has just been moved by crew members. Oh my god! Ah! Uh, I give over hundred pound for this. Well, no one's done it yet, so I don't have to do a karaoke stream. So that's fine. I, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with or without it, honestly. The reason I put it so impossibly high was because I didn't want to do a karaoke stream. <laughs> the, the, the bots could be in who, who bad are, yeah, they should be. Harry's the musical would be trending worldwide. Yes, it would. To be fair, I don't remember him ever calling. To be fair, no, to be fair to Mr. Dollars, right, he was actively defending me during a lot of the, the human nature stuff. So I like, you know, he, he has my back on Twitter and stuff, so. Harry's for the prom, singing how Vale De Deccan, yes. Oh. We could all make up haikus. Yes, you could. I'm just keeping refreshing Twitter just to see if there's anything new. I'm not seeing much new yet. So much for 9pm, yeah. To be honest, I'm not a big like music guy. I'll just kind of... Like, I'm not, like, a big into music. I'm sort of, like, someone who'll just have it on in the background, you know? Uh, have you ever watched Batman March? Yes, I have. I'm a big fan of Review of Death. Shoutouts to, to Review of Death, a.k.a. Matthew Toffoli. Do you like the Beatles? Eh. I mean, they wouldn't be my go-to, but, yeah, fine. Oh, they turned on the big light. Oh, look. 
It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely getting darker now. Got a new image of the lighting, so that's cool. Yeah, they're definitely probably gearing up now, but because you can see it's getting darker there now as well. The more beetles. Looks like filming is happening imminently. Finally, it only took about three hours and twenty minutes. You know, who are those names? Okay, so yeah, those are the members. That's what you get as a member. You get a shout out at the end of the video. And that's when you pay like one ninety nine, and you get like you see the that the badge people have got. You get a badge, you get emojis, and you get your name at the end of the credits. So if you want that, that's one. That's what yeah, Devs Irony. Yeah. That's one of the names. If you could choose a child's interior for yourself, which one would it be? Um, oh, see, yeah, I'd probably have to say the McGowan one. I've always thought it looked really pretty. I love how people just spam Devs I own it because that's the, the one people remember. And human being, yeah. Yeah, that, well, I don't know what happened to that guy. My god, stop. I, I've already hidden the user from the channel. How are they, how are they getting through that? That's actually mental. I've already hidden the user. Or is it just the same, is it just a different one with this, like, it's like a, Similar name, I don't know. They're just seeming to keep getting through the defense. The defenses. Oh. They've made a new account, yeah. Clever bot, I know, man. They just. They won't leave me alone. Is this just what happens when a stream gets decent, like, like numbers? They'll just start descending upon it. They're using a bio damper. I like that reference. That's a good reference. I heard there is the new Davros. You heard it correctly, my friend. Uh, you, I, I love that bio dev reference. You you get you get the gold star. You I don't, the, the gold star doesn't do anything, but you get it. Sometimes bots are really smart. Yeah, the bots have been sent by confused Anapos. Yeah, the bastard. I knew we would do so. My RTD is really resorted to bots to try and stop me. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm gonna like. Uh, I'm gonna follow the person who um, who tweeted out the the light thing, so that when more stuff happens, I'm gonna see it. The last thing we saw was one of the big lights had been turned on, so it definitely looks like they're gearing up now, Toby. Blame the Daleks for all the bots here. Do, 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 do. Have you seen Tan or Tate being seen yet? I don't think they have. If they had, I'd have seen it on Twitter. Exterior when they the live stream. Yes. Is that the what behind you? My man on the ground has has had to go out. No, no. We need him back. Tell him it's this is more important. No, I'm joking. Unless, no. Do you like how t dude t has 10 in his name? Yeah, that's great. I also like how Tom Baker and obviously Colin Baker have the same surnames. I just, I don't know why, I've always found that funny. It's like, Huh, it landed on Baker twice. Coincidence? I think not. Yeah. Oof.
Actually, do you think RTD will redesign the Dalek? I think so. I think it's about time we had a new design, to be honest. I think it's about time. I think it's about dang time we had a new one. Uh, I do have a few weeks about potentially buying some figures. Yes, sorry, I'll have to get back to you. Yeah, sorry about that. I get DMs a lot. <laughs> it's just sometimes they just like stack up and like I just forget stuff. But yes, I'll get back to you on that. Do 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 do. Anything new? No. Just keep waiting. Or at least give them a repaint. Yeah, exactly. I just want a slightly different design at this point. Have you heard the rumor that Colin Bakers will be in Series 1 of Episode 4? No, well, it's probably inaccurate. Sorry, I must go. Sleep beckons me and I must slumber. Fair enough. Uh, I, you'll, you'll be able to see whatever is left of the stream when you wake up. So uh, have, a good, have a good rest. Oh wow, Zinko's just transcribed the entire, the entire um, member shout out segment. <laughs> I'm legit tempted to walk to, to <laughs> access the road. Do it, do it, do it. Cause you're probably gonna start seeing stuff now. Like it's probably around the right time where stuff's gonna start to be seen. You could DM them, and you could you could show them to the stream. Next Patreon shout out leaked here. Yeah. The return of the cigarettes. That would be kind of interesting to see the return of the cigarettes. I mean, I don't really they're doing another Christmas special. I feel like it would be kind of weird if it had the same as the first Christmas special. But I, I mean, I, it'd be interesting to see them again. I mean, the last time we technically saw them was Revolution, wasn't it? Because they had the brief cameo in the prison. So yeah. Yeah, I'd be, wouldn't be opposed to properly seeing them again. I mean, they're still knocking about, so. Although I don't know really what a Sycorax would be put in. They've had given my bots to prescription. Wait, what does that mean? Post given my bots. I mean, yeah, the, there's, there's a lot of stuff posted in chat. Wait, someone pay them maybe? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Hey now, you're at the... What monster would you like to see on screen that have only been mentioned? What, like, when they mention a random, like, name of something that's not really been seen? Um, I guess I'd like to see the Nightmare Child from the Mercil era. Apparently they did that in Big Finish, though, and it wasn't very good, but... Uh, if you missed the Sicker Axe, you should check out the story. Uh, uh, story Harvest of the Sicker Axe from the box set Classic Doctors and New Monsters. Okay, I'll have to give that a check out. Because I have listened to a couple of the Classic Doctors and New Monsters ones. Uh, like the one with the Fifth Doctor and the Ragnos, the Fourth Doctor and the Vashon and the Rada, the Sixth Doctor and the Carrionites, and I believe there's another eight, there's another story with the Vashon and the with the Eighth Doctor as well. Uh, Thary's singing Doctor in Distress is all I want for a living. Is all I want for a living, yeah. Do do do. Uh, we're just sort of waiting for more stuff to happen. Like, they seem to be probably gearing up now, but. I'll tell you what, maybe I can check, like, a. Um... I'm curious, because, right, when they were filming the centenary, I checked a CCTV camera, right, and it showed where they were filming for the centenary. 
but I don't know whether I'd be able to get that now. I doubt it, but it's worth a try. Oops. I'm just actually looking to see, you know, how dark it is as well. Oh, they're not live feeds. That's a shame. I want them to be a live feed. It's not really working. Oh well, I tried. There's a new 12th Doctor announcement in DWSR. There's a what? There's a what? Weirdly, the, the Doctor Who production news guy did just... Yeah, there's nothing. I'm not seeing anything like that. I think you're probably messing with me. Hang on. Just double check the hashtag anyway. Yeah, no, there's nothing new other than. Yeah, I thought it was spam. A Dinko, a Doctor Who villain, yeah. Do do do. Oh, I've got another Twitter notification. What is it? It's just another. Ah, oh, it's just the same one. Mike, oh, as a doctor, you, you mean Dennis? Stop dead naming my child. God damn it. Gonna run into Poundland, hope I don't miss anything. Imagine you've run into Poundland and like Peter Capaldi shows up on site. Hey Therese, when are you gonna get cast as the Doctor? Will you leak it if you, if they did? That would be funny, wouldn't it? If I leaked my own um uh, my own casting announcement. Um I yeah, I probably would if I was the cast as the Doctor. Didn't the Doctor give the Metcross a Doctor a bit of the TARDIS to grow? Yeah, in a deleted scene for Journey's End, he did do that, yeah. Peter Capaldi in Poundland, yeah. There he is the next Doctor, but take it with a pinch of salt, absolutely. You heard it here first. I feel like there should be something more happening now, but there just isn't yet, and it's just... Sad. Soon, hopefully. Peter Capone land. Yes. I kind of got a bit of like hope when that guy said it was going to be nine, and now it's half nine, and they <laughs> still not started. It's not a bit like it. Oh. Still not dark though, that's true. It's weird though, because I googled it and they said that it was getting dark in Cardiff, it's like 20 past 9, it's half 9 and still not dark, so... I kind of feel lied to by Google, not gonna lie. What time will it get dark? Okay, the sun was setting at 9.23, so I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean it's fully dark until like... Yeah. To, that's why I was also trying to check some CCTV to see when it went dark. So, Google has been misleading us. Yes, they knew. They knew all along. Cardiff CCTV cameras. Cardiff CCTV cameras. Yeah. Ah, here we are live okay this was of St. Mary Street because that's where they were filming for the centenary 56 people are watching this right now I was there the other day I was walking down St. Mary Street with Sean there you are. now this will give us the live feed of when it turns dark so <laughs> I'll know as soon as it is I wish that this would get a move on and rotate a little bit faster I know right Yeah, I'm fairly near Axman to rain, it's not dark yet, yeah. Do do 
Do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do By like 10, it's surely going to be quite a bit darker, I would imagine. Can't believe I've been streaming for like three and a half hours. Superman would be able to make this time go faster. True, he would. I'll tell you what was good, Superman and Lois, that was a good show. Recommend that. If you haven't seen that, that's a good show. Twelve millennia later. I was just doing it like the SpongeBob voice. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. That was terrible. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, the home of Spon No, that I can't do it. I just can't can't be French. Apparently, I cannot be French. Oh no, my live camera's had a network error, that's a shame. No, why? No. Leave my webcam alone. Problem trying to load the, oh, hopefully it's not the internet being bad. I think you're, you guys are still here, so. Well. Who needs to do work when you can watch Darius watch the Earth rotate? Still at Axminster, nothing yet. Yeah. Do you do, do? I tell you what, there's not really anything by 10, I'm probably going to pack it up. But I'm just conscious of the fact that if I do that, then. Oh my god, not another one. Jeez. Guys, like, the bots thing is just, not a live camera to the set, just a different live camera that was going to, um, uh, um, it was going to Mary Street, which is in Cardiff, so it's like, forgot about Super Mario St. Louis. What, the Boy Series 3? Oh my god, now I need to watch it. I, I keep forgetting, no. Okay, I'm going to try again to get the live camera up. It's just so it shows me, you know, when it's dark is the thing. That's all I'm trying to use it for, to figure out when it's going to turn dark. Because I'm assuming that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for it to be dark. gonna dance for you. <laughs> Wait, are you on the set now? Or near it? I've been gone for two hours, what have I missed lads? Um, not a lot, <laughs> being honest. Uh, we had, I don't remember what was two hours ago. We've had a few new shots from the set, but not a lot, really. Uh, it looks like they're properly gearing up now, but it's looked like that for like the last two hours at least. Dear Therese, wait, ooh, I feel like this is a letter. Yeah, it's because it's summer, isn't it? Summer's like... Oh no! My camera's gone offline. God damn it, I just want to see. Got me another Cardiff camera. Oh, it's going again. It's still quite light. Yeah, Q&A was what was really happening. I reported the, the bots for me. Thank you. Do you guys want to watch time go by with me? <laughs> Hang on. Bam, look at that. You can see St. Mary's Street. I was there the other day. 
We can wait until it goes dark. Dear Harry, when you're announcing your OnlyFans, never. Well, unless I get really desperate for money, but then I feel like I feel like people would be paying me money not to see it. I think that would be how that would work. Just watching it get darker. <laughs> Come on. Slowly but surely it's going to be getting darker now. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Now he's last to realize her. I'll tell you what. What I'll do. I'll take a break. For about five minutes. But what I'm going to do right. I'm going to get up a video for you guys to watch. It's one of my videos. So that that way. I can like. Take take a few minutes off, get you, you guys to be occupied by past me for a while. Any favourites? Any particular favourites that I could play whilst I just take a break for a sec? So I don't have to be like talking for like the next a few minutes. Anyone got any like suggestions? Catch the replay. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if I read the highway code, that I'm not having Dr. Rank Dalek video essay part one, the devs I own a breakdown. Uh, first video, oh, my first video is painful. I'll watch that with you. I'll tell you what, we can watch my earliest video on the channel together and cringe in it because it's terrible and I sound bad. Hang on. Can't believe you're making me do this. Okay, hang on. Uh... Going back in time, go all the way down three years ago, defending the eighth doctor. I still stand by the, the premise of that video. The eighth doctor was was quite a figure. I'm going to skip the intro because you know time and all of that. Um. You turn on the volume. Okay, get ready for cringe. If you're a casual oh, Doctor voice. Who fan and you've just clicked on this video, then you might be thinking, wait, uh, wasn't the 8th Doctor that Harry. weird one from the American movie? And while yes, the 8th Doctor was the star of that movie, which is considered by many to be... No, man! No, man! No, man! Too late! Oh. A bit strange. The Eighth Doctor himself was one of the few things- Oh, my voice. I actually am struggling to listen to that. Oh. My eyes are actually watering. It's actually hurting to listen to. ...to come out of Doctor Who in the 90s, which you could say- and This was the remake version, apparently. ...was of good quality. As in just over one hour, you learn about this Doctor's love for music. I remember! I was with Pacini before he died! Name drop. I was! I was! I was. And art. Uh, da Vinci. He had a cold when he drew that. In addition to being the doctor that introduced many modern elements, including having have a romantic relationship with their companion, something that would be later expanded upon by the 10th Doctor and Rose, as well as being the first to ride a motorcycle through a city oh, wow, at breakneck speeds, in the background. Wow, something really that the like 11th that. Doctor would go on to do in the Bells of St. John. You did do that in the In addition to hearkening back to the third incarnation, you, you go the probably struggle to hear it, but it is all in volume. iconic vehicles such as Bessie and the Human. That's just how loud it was, Max. This doctor also retained many of the classic quirks, including a love for Jelly Baby. Jelly Baby, officer? Jelly Baby? Just take it. I was a lot less. Oh my god, I'm gonna get claimed with all the clips. And an eccentric but suave wardrobe which feels as if it's been ripped straight from Victorian London. Um, Except for his Dark Eyes costume, which I've never personally been a fan of, as it feels like a beta version of Eccleston's outfit rather than any. Oh wait, what was, the, what was that PNG of Eccleston, man? Get, in a, get a PNG like a normal person, my god. ...to costume. Waffling aside, though, Paul McGann's performances in his three on-screen appearances, yes, I said three, as in addition to the TV movie and Night of the Doctor, his audition tape can also be found on the Doctor Who YouTube channel. Oh wow, you were, you were such a rebel, counting the, the audition tape as part of his 
on screen continuity. Which oh, McCann not only shows his range as an actor going from comedic to serious in a matter of seconds, but also shows how much he loved playing the character, as he seems to be having a great time in this clip. Which makes me feel all the more sad that we only got one televised appearance of this Doctor. But of course we can't forget Night of the Doctor. These seven minutes not only show the more adventurous side of this Doctor as he is trying to save a woman from a crashing spaceship, but we also see the Why tragic the music side of so his loud? character. As Why is the music so loud? We have no internet visual. Thank you, it's Bobcat for the five pound super chat by the way. You should do a stream where you design your own TARDIS interior, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Wait, have I had a Twitter notification? Has there actually been news? Um, let me have a look. Extras have arrived! Wee-oo, wee-oo! Extras have arrived! Okay, we, we might actually have some stuff to talk about, yay! Not long now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the cringe terrible video. It's actually so bad. I'm actually cringing about that. Like, oh, uh, the face reveal video. Oh my god, my webcam was so bad then as well. Like, I didn't have any production. Really. Hang on. Because for a while I was completely faceless, like I didn't have a face. In real life as well, I was just, you know, a body, like the like the headless monks. Um, face reveal. Oh, here it is. Camera. Oh god, my webcam audio. Oh my god, the washing machine. <laughs> oh yeah, because when we were moving house, um, the washing machine has to be moved for some reason. I don't even remember what the reasoning was. But uh, it was moved in there temporarily. I just had a, an ominous washing machine. Just camera on the wall. Who's the ugliest fucker of the? Oh, world? I was edgy then. I said fuck. Wait a minute, that's me. Yep, it is you. Oh, fairy films intro. This was like what two years ago. Now? It feels mental that that was simultaneously only two years ago, but it was- Hello fans of the Wheelchair Gang, Tom here, and- Oh, I was Tom then, I wasn't there, you know, I was in my rebrand. This is weird, isn't it? This is really, really, really weird. Um, I've never done a face reveal before, so- Well, yeah, that's why it's called a face reveal, because you're revealing your face! Okay. Here you go. I mean, no I one hates Darius more than Terry's does, by the way. Like, everyone thinks that they, they think I'm totally- Technically, awesome. I technically have done a face reveal. I I showed a picture of my face once in the past, um, in Doctor Who cosplay, and that's about it. This is the first time actually recording my face, um, it's very strange, obviously. Let me know if you guys like it, um, because I'm planning on using this in the future for the simple fact that, to be honest, yeah, this it allows me to- videos in the bedroom as well, rather than in the office. Uh, so that's, that's an interesting piece of lore. Past there, he's wearing a blue shirt, yeah! To get videos out quicker, like. because I'm not spending so much time editing graphics and videos to go over Graphics, it. mate. All you did was, like, put some pictures over the top of it, like, when you were speaking. Make it look visually appealing. Whereas I can just have my face and have things appear in my hands and on the screen and all these other things. So, yeah. This isn't the only thing I wanted to talk about in this video. I, I wanted to talk about some of the changes. Oh, also, as well, I had a bit of a skinhead going on there because when it was uh, the pandemic times, I was just like, eh, I'm not going to a hairdresser's, might as well shave it all. Coming to the channel. So the first major thing I wanted to talk about is the move away from the Doctor Who content, as you might. Yeah, that lasted. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that. Uh, there you are. Darius Rose Fairies. How, how deep does the logo vary? So, like the Darius laws are super intricate. It's bigger than most animes. It's like it's very. Has that been anything new? No. Okay. Uh, might as well. No, okay. What's another one that's not too bad that I can put on? Uh, thing is, I find a lot of my old videos terrible now.
Anyone got any requests? Yeah, that was a plan at one point. I, I, I went through a commentary phase. Reaction to the tenant reveal. What, tenant coming back? Oh, that would be on one of the recent live streams. I don't mind showing that as much. Because that was recent. Let me get it. Anniversary, which it was. Okay, hang on. I think the actual reveal was. Just hit 13,100. Oh my god. Oh, there's 800 people watching. RTD's oh, Instagram. What's happening on RTD's Instagram? Your heart left. This is me. Okay, thank you. What did she retweet? Oh my god, she's got to be involved then. I can't deal with this. What did Russell say? Oh, yeah, some rates to lolly thing. Let me skip forward a bit. Is it just? See, I'm not as cringe here because it was like a recent else here. Thank you. This was thank you a month ago. Russell T's ass nice fan. So true. I'm just keeping. I can't cope. That's minute seven. Word the tweet. Acting still there. Very very alert. Oh god, mental. Two minutes. Seven p.m. Should tie. Kenny Horseman for the master. I can't believe it. I can't get over it. Like how much it's gone up. Oh. One minute? Okay, there's one minute left. Everyone start spamming 60th again. Maybe something will happen. Maybe if we wish hard enough. Maybe it's like Peter Pan. You know? I do believe in the announcement. I do. I do. I do believe in the announcement. I do. Oh my god, Emily Emily Cooks tweeted something, the power of social media. Okay, something's definitely gotta be happening. Like it has to be. Like Okay, it's seven. Okay, it's still six fifty nine. Six fifty nine. Is my is my screen showing? It is. Good, good, good. Oh my god, there's a thousand people in here. Subscribe if you do. Um and wait for the announcement. We've got one minute to go. Uh, come on, come on, drop. Okay, it's seven, it's seven. Is there anything? Oh my god, David and Tannik and Catherine Tate return. It's official, it's official. They're back. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Yep, that was, that was that. Two ther- oh my god, I realised my entire webcam's like, covered up. Oh, that video. I could show you guys that video. Um, is there anything new? I just realized my, my current live stream setup was covering up that one. So uh, you guys actually didn't see my face during that. Pulls out the tissues. Yeah. <laughs> um, hang on. Yeah, no, it's Cardiff, yeah. I was gonna say, if you hadn't seen it, yeah. No, okay, I'll show you guys the 13th Doctor is my favourite Doctor. I don't even remember what that one was like. I feel like it was just a parody of, like... I think that was back when I had an animated Avatar. Yeah, I had an animated Avatar at one point. Like, I, I've literally been everything at every point. Like, everyone knows me as Leak Guy now. That was only really a thing that came about, um, like, last year. Before then, there was, like, it was, it was a lot. The Leak thing just kind of stuck. But, um, uh, where was it? Oh, no, that must have been a, oh, yeah, here we go. I've redecorated. Wait, can you guys see that? I've got an animated avatar on this one. Look at that. Created. Do you like it? Oh, one of the intros. Oh, parody intro, yeah. I remember this. Parody intro. I'm gonna get clean for that, That's right guys, in today's video, we're going to be exploring why Jodie Whittaker is the best doctor ever. She's so, she's so stunning. But anyway, 
I'm getting ahead of myself. Number one, she's the most powerful Doctor ever put to screen. Now, if you've been watching the 13th Doctor, you've in fact been watching the most powerful Doctor ever. Because kind of her funny. sonic screwdriver... Why is it a dildo? Okay, I thought I was ...can do funny. literally anything. Gasp, a Dalek. Malfunctioning! Okay, that is quite funny. Why do you like this explosion go on? See? Told you. Number two is that she's got the most companions, and we all know that the more friends you have, the better oh, you are no. as a person. Oh what? no. Oh man, I was trying so hard to be edgy. Oh, it's actually... What do you mean other doctors had more companions? Are you expecting me to watch the old show? Number three is her costume. She's got the most colourful costume of any doctor. What do you mean there's more colourful outfits for doctors? I haven't watched any other doctors. Number four is that she's the timeless child, which makes her the most powerful time oh, lord of all the time lords. She rules over them with an iron fist, even though the whole point of the character was for her to be a rebel who ran away rather than Past the entire edgy, creator yeah. of Time Lord Society. Anyway, number I, five is the custard now. creams. I have no now, chill. Now, I don't know about you, but I love a custard Cream. They're one of my favourite biscuits ever, and no other doctor has ever used a biscuit before. I said I haven't watched any other doctors. <laughs> Number six is here, TARDIS, as I've modelled behind me here. As you can tell, it's the most yellow TARDIS of all the TARDISes, and that's a fact. And we all know that yellow is the best colour. Where did I go? Because it symbolises, um. Spring? Yeah, we'll go with spring. Spring's nice and happy and wonderful. And finally, the most important part about Jodie Whittaker's Doctor is her accent, which I'm not going to try and replicate here because I just can't do it justice. But, you know, as you can tell, I've got a bit of Yorkshire in me, so I'm going to try my best to, like, capture the essence of Jodie, even if I don't get the accent 100% right. Her accent is just so lovely I'm to listen to. It's like music to me. <laughs> is. I, I, I come so from good. Huddersfield. Number 1,562 is that her Sonic is made out of 100% Sheffield steel, which makes her use the most strongest of all the world's metal in the whole world. And isn't that just amazing? I I've slipped into Jodie Whittaker mode now. I can't get out. But finally, the most important aspect of this Doctor, even though I've said that about five times, the most important aspect is that she is the first female Doctor. Until she wasn't. Well, that was terrible. Um, oh, okay, I am never watching my old videos again. Uh, yep. <laughs> the normal is gonna do. I'm never watching my old videos ever again. <laughs> uh, Ferris was an edgy boy. He was an edgy boy. Have we had any other news? I cannot believe I missed the gift. <laughs> Most offensive video, I mean, I look, a lot of the really bad ones have been like deleted now. Because, like, yeah. Um, I don't really think there are any, particularly. I mean, they're just a bit cringe more than anything else. Like, Most offensive one. I know there are people getting pissed off at this thumbnail because it was a Dalek that looked like a bit phallic, but this was one of the Willox Kish shopping videos.
kind of just giving up waiting for like filming stuff. <laughs> oh wow, this is a current intro. I forget how long I've had that. Um, oh yeah, here's, here's the time. Here's the tenth traveler again. He seems to pop up. The tenth up. traveler again. He popped up in the last yeah. video, but like he was in a cut bit. Yeah, these weird Doctor Who Lego knockoffs just. They're everywhere, it seems. Yeah. They're everywhere. Are they? They are <laughs> everywhere. Trust me, they're everywhere. Wait, hang on a minute. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's just one cool. of the normal figures. No, that's just like a normal remote control one, though. And they're charging 800 quid for it. Bloody thieves. Oh, no, it's a custom. Oh, it's still, a custom 800 quid. Custom interactive do Einstein Dalek. Because I'm guessing it's like a repainted version of the Time War remote control. But it's the Ironside yeah. based off victory. But I mean, 800 quid's taking the mick a bit. Like, is That's anyone actually cool. gonna pay you, you five pay, watches, you pay, you not pay. the Doctor Who watches, you know? <laughs> just, just, you know. It's the end of the bid, but the moment has been prepared for. <laughs> the watches! <laughs> They've been watching the entire time. <laughs> uh, see, I've seen these before. The... This is actually a decent video. I don't mind these ones. Wait, you can't see it? Oh, sorry. 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 Play it again from the beginning. I'll skip the intro for you. Oh yeah, here's, the record time. here's the tenth traveler again. He seems to pop the tenth up. Traveler again. He popped up in the last yeah. video, but like he was in a cut bit. Yeah, these weird Doctor Who Lego knockoffs just they're everywhere, it seems. Yeah. They're everywhere. Are they? They are <laughs> everywhere. Trust me, they're everywhere. Wait, hang on a minute. Oh, that's, that's pretty one cool. Of the normal figures. No, that's just like a normal remote control one though. And they're charging eight hundred quid for it. Bloody thieves. Oh no, it's a custom. But still, a custom quid. interactive Einstein Dalek. Because I'm guessing it's like a repainted version of the Time War remote control. But See, it's the Einstein based yeah. yeah. off yeah, well. I mean, 800 quid's taking the mech a bit. Like, is That's anyone actually cool. going to pay that? Five watches, not the Doctor Who watches, you know. <laughs> just, just, you know. It's the end of the bid, but the moment has been prepared for. <laughs> the watches! <laughs> They've been watching the entire time. <laughs> Uh, see, I've seen these before. Custom Pandorica like, stone. They're like versions of Cyberman heads, but they've got like snow on them and stuff, or like you know different texture. Again, like way too overpriced. But yeah, it doesn't look. Oh, it's a custom Brian the Ude from Time Lord Victorious. Man, you can't even escape Time Lord Victorious in the customs. Like some of these customs, like generally look good. Like I saw one oh, earlier like that was Lord like um, was like a revolution. Well, I like duty. that damaged. Like, uh, uh, wait, what was that? Damaged Imperial yeah, garlic. That's cool. That's cool. I think it will be cool to just like highlight some of the cooler things as well because as much as there is like a lot of cursed stuff like some of the things that appear in the sidebar here like there's also some stuff that is oh, no. genuinely pretty cool you know type <gasps> it's you 12th doctor you scroll down there was a bit of davros <laughs> oh god yeah i've got that set oh so, yeah yeah i bought that because i've been getting into figure collecting like recently um so i've been buying a lot of the b m stuff not from b m because my b m oh. is naff but like Oh, the B&M is still Time Lord Victorious of... collar. Lots of Time Lord I've Victorious. I've got boxes loose. and boxes of action figures under my bed. It's a kit for the revolution, uh, revolution of the Daleks, Dalek, but not the actual revolution. That, that base actually looks like the uh, the one from the Emperor Dalek with the massive um, spherical head. Oh yeah. He, he had three rows, useful. not four. Yeah. Maybe it could be used for that as well. Whoa, Dalek. That one. Yeah, I mean, this, weird when people can't part spell. of this looks like legitimate Lego, and part it's of this looks like someone's own spell. made Lego. It's really weird, because, like, that canine, I think some of those are official, like, pieces, because it kind of does look like the Lego Dimensions one. But then at the same time... Doctor Who, coming to Lego... <laughs> the Lego Movie 3, Daleks threaten the city. I thought it was so, it was so cool in the, the Lego Batman movie, <sighs> when they just show up. And British robots! <laughs> Ask your nerd friend. Custom cool, Recon man. DVD case. So I'm guessing if you get the At The Proms 2013 DVD, you can put it in this to make it match the classic stuff. And you can get, like, custom ones for stories that have not came out, like Galaxy 4 or the Highlanders. That's quite cool. Ah. Uh, man, the RTD era really just did give figures to everything. Looks nothing like it. No, it looks more like um, Kylie Minogue from Voice of the Ah, yeah. oh, yes. What was the that famous from? Doctor Who villain. Giant rat. Ratatouille. Just play, play left SD. Oh my god, Clay, no! Time traveling <laughs> shoes. <laughs> oh no. Tom Baker just really He looks terrified. <laughs> he looks so scared. He's seen some stuff. He's a cake topper. He's seen some stuff. 
Can you eat it? Is it edible? Or is it just like one of those I ones? I don't know. Like Custom it? figurine clay. I don't think you can eat clay, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen me try it. <laughs> Did you eat clay, though, when you were young? I'm a, I mean, listen, everyone tried it once. Oh, poor Dalek. Custom it looks like build. he's been no, deflated. It looks like, you know like those um, inflatable Daleks that you used to get? Like, if one of those was deflated, that's what it would look like. Right, let's skip to 13. Our lucky number. Oh, no. No, sir. Ah! All 13. Your lucky number's 13. Your lucky number's 13. Oh, no. Dalek's got a penis. I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> I think that's enough of that. <laughs> oh. Harry's <laughs>, laughs at own content. Uh, uh, Darry's looks like they're actually filming. Wait, are they? <laughs> Finally. About damn time. Oh, yay. It's moving slightly. Woohoo. Yeah, it's moving. Let's go. Moving. Yay! Stuff's actually happening. Woo! Okay. What's the camera looking like? Oh, it's definitely looking darker now. Which means they're starting. It's kind of sad that it's taken till 10, but you know. I'm gonna watch the end of this video. There's more stuff. Wait, you guys saw that, right? You saw the truck? I'll show it again. Uh, there you are. There's the truck. Hey, it's something. You're really dedicated to your stream, like, yeah, I quite enjoy the streams. Quite enjoy them. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this other video. <laughs> that is what it looks like, though, isn't it? <laughs> it that looks... meant to be a special weapons, Dalek. Like, yeah. Oh no, don't, don't... <laughs> he's got, a, he's got a very special weapon. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, and then it's just. Can't believe he just said. Oh no, what is, is that in the? In the... <laughs> I don't. That's know. diseased. It has the bubonic plague. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I still find this funny? God damn it! It's like a plague, Dalek. Now, the that's, dar the that's, the plague. that's the next Chris Chibnall historical there. Someone's to the custom of the 12th Doctor in the chair, and Davros is just the body. Because in that oh. story, he takes the chair. <laughs> Look, that's me, you know. So, anyone for dodgems? So. Anyone for dodgems? Oh, look, someone's made a 13th Doctor TARDIS that, you know, actually is like what the old TARDISes were. Good. Uh, it's an official box, I think it is, but it. Yeah, um, but someone's got added, a... like, the interior car. Interior, yeah. And the, the lights, which, I mean, should have been there from the beginning, let's be honest. Character options need to up their game. Oh, look, here's the disease ridden one again. We can actually get a good look at it on its I'll own. get a close up of it. What's it called? Called Action Figure Figure 8. Like. It looks steampunk. Oh, yeah. no, no. Never mind. I, <laughs> I take that back. Never mind. <laughs> oh, God. As with all of these, we're not making fun of anyone those things. That's the end of that. Anything else happened? I'm, I'm laughing at Sarah's little ago. Terry's friend sounds like John Lennon. I think you'll like that. Do you think Dan will be the new one? <laughs> Maybe. No, he won't be willing. No, nope, there's been nothing else other than that clip. Should we watch another one? I'm quite enjoying just watching random old videos, except when they're cringe, but... Um... I feel like the ones where I'm not taking it seriously are probably better than the ones where I am taking it seriously. Someone did suggest Darling Video Essay Part 1, but I kind of don't want to play that just because of copyright. Got all the clips in it. And I know that streams can, they can be quite targeted for that. Um... Um... I'm not sure what to put on. I don't know. Any requests? Fat Dalek on Aries is the 19th Doctor. What link is this? God knows what he's gonna link me. He's gonna link me, um... Something went wrong. Oh. Something went wrong when you tried to link me that. Is this filming or are you rewatching your old It was filming, but then nothing happened, so... It kind of became... 
Doxy, oh, truck's moving into position by the looks of it. Finally, come on. Uh, to be fair, sometimes Barry's visits being being mega chippy. Yeah, I, I approve of this. I approve of this. So yeah, the, the, the person on set saying things are moving into position. Hopefully we get to see some like cast members. Wait, the charity is not regenerating the, um, I don't know what that was based on. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Charity's not regenerating. Probably a while ago. Hang on, I could probably search it. Not. Jody, not leaving Doctor Who. Uh. Oh, that was back when the office was in its infancy. Like, um. oh yeah, here's you can see some of my um, commentary stuff. Uh. You haven't missed much. Yeah. Yeah, no, you didn't miss much yet. It's the Shrek leak video on the second channel. Oh, um, yeah, I can probably play that in a bit. Uh, what's your first video? I, I, we were just watching that earlier. It wasn't very good. I'm trying to watch the stream and keep an eye on Twitter. I'm doing the same, and I'm on the stream. There's not been much yet, though. So... I just kind of want to like have something else on in the background while we're waiting. Um, see, like all my recent videos are kind of like fine. Like even the not great ones, are, like you know, they're serviceable. I don't know. Um, Oh, the stream of that hopes for series 13. How naive we were, me and Jay, back then. Oh, ranting at children in me. Uh, oh, the disturbing Doctor Who fan fiction video for Halloween. That was good. I think Willocks did that one. Help me out. The same guy from the. Yeah, I really did sound creepy person. I did re I, I did react to it. That's something we did earlier on in the stream. Uh, we reacted to that. Why does the Tharys visits Bimley Mega Chippy tweet have like eleven likes? Why? Why have you done that? Like it was good. Don't know whether it deserves that that quickly, but you know, fair enough. Guess that's what the people want. Could do with some music, yeah. Could put some music on. Sort of waiting for more stuff to happen there. Come on, damn it! I know it's a popular meme, but still. Uh. Wow. Back in the day, I did reactions to. To teasers that were like approved by 30 seconds long. That's that's some ingenuity on my part. World leading security experts and endorsed by the best security minds. We bring you the defense drones. Man, this was actually cool. Why didn't they do Your future is in safe hands. Welcome back to another video where today we are going to be talking about the revolution of the Daleks defense drones trailer. Now, for those of you who are unaware about that for like two two minutes, where this was a little promotional clip that was released shortly after the resolution watch along, which I didn't take part in because I had other things to do. But wow, you're such a busy guy. We've got this clip out of it, and to be honest, it looks quite interesting and shows how these new defense drones, or as we call them, Daleks, are being. Wow, we called them Daleks. I didn't know. I thought we called them beans. Okay, it's the blue sorry shit. Let's go. I still have it. Still the same one. Not been washed. Ever. 
just waiting for something to happen at this point. Uh, no, not much new really. We're just sort of waiting. I think it, I, next time, if I go live, it's going to have to be like when I know something like is definitely there. Because like otherwise, it's just going to be a long stream with not much in it. Although I think stuff is starting to happen now, but I've said that like so many times. So. Dalek Bean, Beanly Mega Chippy, yes. Yeah, the live stream for a bit just kind of became, let's react to my old videos. So you're saying the truck isn't exciting enough for a four hour live stream. If you see the emojis that then that would be a great time to stream to see your reaction again. Oh well, if if, if if yeah yeah, they do an emoji thing, emoji TC. Yeah, I always do it for like big things. But I just thought that like given that like there was you know filming going on, I thought like oh it'd be a good time to stream. But then like not much happens. <laughs> it's kind of just like yeah. To be fair, 11 more is gonna, was where I was going to cap it anyway. Here's some money, now watch the Strike Leak video. Fine. I think I did a video for the second channel. Might as well put it on. Um, give me a sec. Channels, various highlights. Oh, remember, remember the Therese, the moment the channel got hacked? That was a good video. Um, the leak video. You want that one? Fine. Make a dirt leak. I think I made this. Don't judge this. <laughs> Settlers of the swamp. Thick here with another onion video. This post has called out to make a Reddit leak what a weird name for a Docker Ho leak anyway. And with the reading, a guide on how to make a Docker leak. First, claim that you have a contact in the BBC. Either your mate is pulling Chibnall's cock. He that's not very appropriate, <laughs> or someone you know works for the BBC on the show or something related. Second, make the most batshit cray rumors up that have no sense behind them that are mostly the fan fiction you wrote on Wattpad last night. I mean isn't most of Chibnall's writing fan fiction. They're chucking a couple of realistic <laughs> sounding try. things that have already been proven by filming. Fourth, try and talk like you're a BBC producer selling the show throw in some big words and make it really long. You know what else is long this leak series? What the far code was he thinking making 63 leak videos? Fifth, try your best time? to cover the other leakers back. And sixth, cover your own tracks by saying the BBC plans could change like they already have. Okay, now we finally peeled off the layers of this onion. We finally have a proper onion. And before I go, did I mention I work in London for a graphics company making posters for series 13 and my best mate lives in Chibnall's attic and hack his computer and works at the BBC on the show. From the set I he was able to tell me Vinder is Romana and will expose the truth about the timeless child day 12, 11 and 79 are all back in the special along with River Wilf, Joe Martin, Gat Lee Barry from down the pub, James Corden, Graham Ryan, Dan's Granted and Lace 10. A few legal complexities to sort out Brad's agent was on the phone to me the other night telling me all about it. The BBC hit Chibnall and Jody Case in Cardiff to point out looms everything has already been filmed and Doctor Who is cancelled. Oh no, Doctor is cancelled! I hope that's not the case, but it might be according to this onion. All this could change brain on the new generation and it is a new generation I could tell you all about it cause my next home is in Sully Wainwright's basement who will be the next showrunner. 
Oh, and the Santorins are back along with the Weeping Endels and the Master and Fubi Waller Bridge is a Series 14 co-writer with Thares as the 14th Doctor, I think that is all. He Thares is that guy who locked me in his basement to make this video. Please let me out, Thares, Felicia, Fardus, and the other one really miss me, probably. Series 13 will be the most- There you go. I've watched the video now. There you are. I've watched the Shrek video. I literally just taking a shower and Darius is still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still going. Oh, not much is happening from what I can see. Yeah. I'm That I just I just want something more. It's not finished. Oh, fine, I'll put the end on. My God. Touching emotive, raunchy, dramatic, life-changing, surprising, and thrilling series the show has ever made with the specials to follow being the best TV ever. No idea how Chib Mole pulled all this out of his arse. By the way, just heard all this down the grapevine. Plans could change, enjoy, and feel free to comment any questions, yours truly big black, oh no that's not family friendly. Here's some other stuff to but I'm not reading that, so anyway here's where I give my opinion on the onion I just read. I don't care. Thanks for watching, now subscribe, like, and comment about what you think, oh, and I will see you so soon, cute. Fiona, I promise, just look after the kids whilst I'm gone, I promise I'll try and come back to you soon. There we go. Oh, we're five people in the video about to play. We need to get rid of that. There we go. Well, that was that. I'll tell you what. Why not react to Jay's most offensive? What would. You well, that would just be the entire five hour video given by like how much Twitter got mad at it. Well, look, someone's tenants wearing Thary's merch. You should all wear Thary's merch, look. Or, or go buy the merch. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I saw it with you, Jerry. You did a great job. I know, it's fascinating. Oh, you want to see the, the, the origin of that Shrek me? Hang on. Show you the one that I made. It was then. I don't know why I felt the need to do a Shrek regeneration. Just thought it was funny. I guess. Uh... <laughs> It all just disappears, doesn't it? Everything you are gone in a moment, like breath on a mirror. Any moment now, he's a coming. Who's coming? Shrek. You are the Shrek. Yep, and I always I will be. But that, times but... change, and so must I. We all change. When you think about. Can you guys? Uh... I think you guys could see that. I'm gonna play it. It all just disappears, doesn't it? Everything you are gone in a moment, like breath on a mirror. Any moment now, he's a coming. Who's coming? Shrek. You are the Shrek. Yep, and I always will be. But times change, and so must I. We all change. When you think about it, we are all different people all through our lives. And that's okay. That's good. You've got to keep moving so long as it you remember really all the ogres that you used to be. I will not forget one line of this. Not one day. I swear, I will always remember when Shrek was me. Swamp Man. And good night. No. No. Hey! Please don't change. One inch I've got no one inside don't like the color. Of your aunt. Yes. Shrek, is that really you? No, it's me, Peter Capaldi. Can't you tell by the mask? What? What mask? <laughs> That was that. Um, 
seen this one, I love it. Thank you. Hey, I've seen this one. It's when he when he when he get back to the spaceman. It's a classic. What do you mean? It's brand new. Fiona's voice sounds so bad. It's literally Ned Flanders. I don't know why. The Shrek Regen did create a lot of content. Has there been any new actual filming things? You know, the original point of the live stream. Uh, there's still not really been anything, that's a shame. People are leaving set, what? What? Oh yeah, no. Like, Twitter accounts, you mean, yeah. It's probably gonna be later in the day. I'll tell you what, because we've, we've covered some of the stuff today. So that, um... You know what, I think I'm gonna wrap up there, because honestly, I'm kind of knackered. Um, but thank you all for watching. Uh, we at least saw a bit of, bit of stuff. Um. Oh. All right. See you in a bit. Bye bye.